We are happy to announce the launch of our new logo. We have evolved since our incorporation in 1997 and it is time to refresh our new look to reflect who we are today. Before I reveal our new look, however, walk with me while I take you through our journey of the last 25 years. Trust Bank was incorporated on July 3rd, 1997 and began operations on October 1st, 1997. Following the collapse of the parent company of its predecessor, Meridian, the CBG stepped in and recapitalized the bank and held the shares in trust, thus the name Trust Bank. In 1999, the first investors who responded to the IPO and paid $1.50 per share received their maiden dividend of 50 bututs per share. In 2000, the bank fully paid back its investment by declaring another dividend of $1.20 bututs per share, making it a cumulative dividend per share of $1.70, which was 20 bututs above the purchase price. Between 2002 to date, share capital has increased from $27 million to $200 million, indicating that the bank has grown organically by plowing back profits to increase capital, while at the same time paying dividends to shareholders. The bank was listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange in November 2002, being the first ever cross-border listing in the sub-region. Now let's talk about awards. The bank was awarded the insignia of the National Order of the Republic of the Gambia, ORG, in the year 2010 by His Excellency the President of the Republic of the Gambia. During the past years, the bank has received so many national and international awards. Banker Magazine, six times. Global Finance, six times. Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry, five times. We began operations with three branches. Now, we have 18 branches and 20 ATMs and counting. On digital services, mobile app, Check. Online banking? Check. Transaction alerts? Check. Watch this space. We've got more coming. Creating employment? Yes, we've got that too. 400 and counting. And we take great care of our people too. Medical insurance, life insurance, private and state pensions, annual pilgrimages for both Muslims and Christians, training? Yes, we do them all. One team, one family, one goal. That's the trust bank spirit. On corporate social responsibility, we have spent over $50 million in various courses. We care, and so we share. Over the years, we have paid over $1.6 billion to our shareholders, which translates to a whopping $20 per share and counting. Phenomenal returns for our shareholders who purchased at $1.50. Corporate taxes, over $1 billion is paid. Our journey started with a vision to create the kind of company that delivers quality services and innovative products with an inspired team dedicated to serving our customers, our environment, and our communities at large in the most caring manner. We remain fully committed to delivering excellent services to each of our stakeholders, customers, employees, shareholders, and partners. So, we remain true to who we have always been. As we look forward to greater achievements, we are rebranding to reflect who we are today and the future that we inspire. Our new logo has been designed to visually demonstrate our Gambian heritage and the sophisticated nature of the bank. We are moving away from the navy and gold-colored parallelogram-shaped logo to our baobab tree with a rising sun in the background. The striking outline of a baobab tree at sunrise is a familiar sight to anyone who has spent time in the Gambia. Our new logo and visual identity are inspired by our core values and spirit of being a pioneer in providing a unique banking experience. It is a completely new look that better matches the transformation we have made as a company. But we remain your trust bank. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor to present to you our new logo and corporate identity.
fay lempo waru galla ci kepp ko xamne doomi rew mi nga ak ñu fi dekk bu fekke ne ci at mi sa kom kom wessuna ñaar fuk ak ñenti junne dalasi mbete wër bu nekk di nga am lu tollu ci ñaari junne dalasi lempo ci la ngour gi di sukandeku ngir liggey yokute rew mi ji ar e moy bang has bu ngouri gambia sas ngir mu feye ku lepp luy lempo ci bi rew mi be taxna ji ar e di yegal fay kati lempo yi ne waru galla pour ñu fay lu ñu nan wit holding tax on contract payment manam bepp contract bu way joxe te ci bi rew mi lañu to kon xaliss contract bi ngeen nangoto war nga ci wañi ci xayma témer bu nekk fuka bu féké né contract bi dekku ci bi rew mi bu boba di nga waro wañi témer bu nekk fuka ak jurom li moy lempo bu ñu nan with holding tax on contract payment li moy lempo bi nga xamné yow mi joxé contract waru galla nga wol baté ku dem fay ko ci makani jiaré tax office bu la gëna jégué mbété ci banki jiaré jagléel pour fay lempo war nga jébal lempo bi ci diiri fuki fan ak jurom ganaw bi nga wañé ci xali ci contract bi amul ben contract bu ñu téggel fay lempo bi xana mu fekk né nguuri gambia ñoko jégalé bolé ci project yi nga xamné mbotaay ndimbali ñokoy dépense jiaré di fay ku lempo ngir yok for the first time in the history of the gambia gambia printing publishing corporation proudly introduces the billiomatic exercise book printing machine the machine has the capacity to print more than 20000 books per hour yes 20000 books per hour it also prints magazines newspapers calendars flyers normal books and all kinds of printed documents plus items at affordable prices with the billiomatic printing machine gppc can now render high quality and non size restricted printing service supply across the sub region rush now and partner with gppc for all your public and private printing service needs print with us today and you'd be offered highly professional reliable and efficient service delivery by our team of experts The Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation is here to meet all demands and is reliable at all times. For more info, contact us on 437-4493 or 437-4402. GPPC is Gambian and it's yours. This season on Kefatu. The reason I have always called for a national dialogue is because a government must be responsive. to the needs of its people. Fatsi. Tell me one thing, if I'm at me as an individual, if I know that there is somebody that I definitely wrong, yeah. I will be bold enough. I will go to the party. To I will appeal to him and apologize him. I have to make decision today because I don't make decisions lightly. I investigate. I do my research. I get the facts. I call the experts. I I summon meetings. I get the technicians. Then I reflect and I make a decision. Why did you lose the election? Well, we lost the election because of cheating and registration. We had evidence of people being registered before the opening of the registration. Welcome to another edition of our show, uh, Kirvatu. Today we're here again, another Thursday, to talk about issues. Of course, politics is going to be dominating our show again. We have members of the APRC NOTO Alliance, Pamu Dumbo and uh, Ensa. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you very much, Fatu, once again. Uh, well, we are back to our house. Yes. Kirvatu. Yeah. Kirvatu. Kirvatu. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. and it's always a pleasure to have you. Okay, and that's, well. <laughs> I know, and that's his first time. We'll get back to you, Esa. Uh, Esa, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, Esa, uh, we, yeah, why am I confusing? He's Ansu, he's Esa, so <laughs> I'm confusing everything. Um, uh, Esa. You say prof, isn't he? Prof, yes, prof, prof Baji. Of Prof. Okay. Welcome to the show. Um, Esa, today we're back again and um, we will talk to members of the APRC NOTO Alliance. Mm. You know, obviously nominations have started. We're going to look at what are they up to. Uh, are they, I heard Pamori saying they will, they will nominate across the country, mm. but you know, the reality is coming. We, we have to know exactly where they're going to be. But first, I want us to start in Senegal. First, before we start, you know, um, 
regarding the Senegal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you. Um, but I would just like to seize this opportunity to welcome <coughs> Mr. Mbo. Mm. Um, I think this is the first time we are sharing platform, but he has been on the brunch yeah. um, a few times, and I've been... He's a frequent um, guest on the brunch. Yeah, I've been follow yeah. <laughs> following him. <laughs> It um, makes it tough for Charm. Exactly. Yes. For um for Ansu. Yeah. Well you said prof, is it are you is it an academic prof or just people call you a prof? Academic prof. Hmm. What? Academically, do you have a professorship? Yeah. Right. Seriously, which university? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. No, I mean with seriousness. I'm just saying with seriousness. Uh, people yeah, people call you prof because it has to be clear so that the viewers out there, some people will think that, oh maybe he's a professor. But then it's just a name people call you. That's understandable, yeah. I just want people out there to to know. So, um, Ali, um, Ansu Baji, um, I want to seize this opportunity to welcome you as well um, on the show. I mean, the, what is happening in Senegal, Fatou, I think is really unfortunate. Um, this is a rape on democracy. A rape on democracy in the sense that back in um, 1991, 1992, when the Soviet Union disintegrated, the Berlin Wall collapsed, and... Of course, you know, there was the third wave democratization in Africa. Countries like the Gambia, Botswana, Mauritius, and of course, Senegal, were once regarded as one of the leading multi-party democracies at the time. When majority of the African countries from independence built one-party states, even though Senegal at some point, Senegal also did the same, but not for the entire independence period. From 1980, we know that Senegal, you know, transformed quickly into multi-party democracy. When a lot of other countries in Ghana, in Guinea, you name them, in Tanzania, they were all having one-party states. So meaning Senegal has always been credited for being among those beacons of hope as far as our democracy is concerned. And especially of recent from 2000, when they experienced change of government through the ballot, um, when Abdul Jouf was removed from the place by Abdullah Wad, and then from Abdullah Wad, then you had Macky Sall. A lot of people, I mean, were hopeful that Senegal could, um, you know, welcome a lot of other African countries um, to embrace the principles of democracy. But I think what is really happening there is unfortunate, because when we say democracy, it's also beyond just mere elections. Um, it is also about the government respecting fundamental rights and freedoms of the citizens. It even goes beyond that. But let's look at it from that civil and political rights um, point of view. Um, what is happening in the country, um, we are seeing another dictator in the making, in fact, already a dictator. Um, when Mackey came, he talked about reducing the time limit to you know, five years. And I remember having this conversation with someone, a very bitter conversation. Um, for him, he was saying, no, if after, after Mackey's second time, he cannot do anything, he will just step down, he will not go for a third time because Senegal, the, the citizens will not allow that yet, even the constitution, the lawyers, the judges will not allow that. I told him that these are African presidents. Don't, they can be very corny and never underestimate their, 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 um, their, how dodgy they can be and their, their um, tactics. And exactly this is what is happening, even though Mikey might not have come openly to tell us that um, you know, he's going for the third time. We, well, we know the signs are there. This is what exactly he wants. And what is unfortunate, what is rather unfortunate, is how he's malhandling you know, um, his closest opponent um, his potential um, threat, like one can say, you know, at the moment, um, Sonko is the biggest threat to Makisal, and probably is the potential, um, you know, um, opposition figure to replace Maki. And obviously, what is happening is very disheartening, and I think this will be um, a concern to the international community, especially um, ECOWAS in the sub region. Most of the time, when certain things happen, like unconstitutional change of governments, they are always quick. Um, to respond, to always um, condemn such. But I think it is important, this is also beyond interference in the internal affairs of countries. No, this is beyond that. When, you know, what we call early warning, signs of conflict, when they are emerging, it's important. The ECOWAS, in fact, have an early warning system. Um, I, was, I was part of that. I was working for them and as a conflict monitor where, you know, people in Senegal, in Gambia, in member countries anyway, would report to the ECOWAS early warning system about the governance and security related issues happening in the country. So when these things are happening in Senegal, it's not only for ECOWAS as an organization or as a sub-regional body to only receive this without taking the necessary actions. It's important that they start engaging their leaders, especially Maki, um, who a lot of people, I mean, few years down the line, we are calling him a Democrat, you know, coming to the Gambia, in fact, ensuring that the will of the people 
um, prevail after the 2016 presidential election. But now seeing him turning against these people, his own people for that matter, when he was here talking about, I mean, saying a lot about yeah, Jame being a dictator and all that, this, he is also doing the same thing. I mean, I think that is really disheartening. And it's important that, um, you know, people in the sub-region, ECOWAS especially, try to look these things holistically. And it's important that Maki himself as a president, um, because if not, this can lead to anything. This can really lead to anything. Exactly. Unfortunate um, incidents can happen. And then um, I think, um, Pamuru, what, what is uh, disheartening is how a lot of Gambian people will tell you, when you talk about Senegalese issue, they'll tell you, uh, don't interfere in Senegalese politics. I've said the Senegal butisole the Gambia favor. And when we were going through what happened in Gambia, it was Senegal who took the role. In fact, it was Macky Sall who took that petition to the international community. He led that fight for Gambia. Today, if something happens in Senegal, something of this nature, it should be on our platforms to talk about it because they are our closest neighbors. When things happen in Gambia, we run to Senegal. I'm sorry, but if something happens, they are also going to run to us. So that's why it's important we talk about these issues. But I think we want to also uh, remind the viewers what really happened. What is happening in Senegal right now is this: um, there's a revol there's kind of um, issues going on because. Yeah. I don't know whether to well, call it an uprising. Yeah. I don't know how to quantify it. But what is happening is the opposition leader, Usman Sonko, was supposed to go to court today for the second hearing of the defamation case he has against the mini, one of the ministers who he accused of uh, embezzlement um, when he was at Product, one of their uh, companies. And the opposition, the minister went to court saying, bring the report. Even though a lot of people said, yes, there was a report. In fact, a book was written about it, but it was not published. So he was like, bring your evidence. So there's this court going on. The last time Mark Usman tried to go to court, the, 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 the security forces will go to his house and barricade the entire house and try to direct the route he should take to go to court. And he's like, I'm a citizen. You are not going to tell me what route to take. So there was some fracas last time, and they broke his um, vehicle and took him out of his vehicle and took him home. This time again, today, yesterday, he was supposed to join a protest. They barricaded in the entire house, and he, in the morning, he wanted to take his child to school. They stopped him. He was not even able to. In front of his child, they told him he cannot leave the house, his own house. And a lot of people were like, what is this? Is he under house arrest? Now, this morning, when he woke up to go to court, they opened the but a kid, and he left. He was accompanied until at some point the security directed that he go through a certain route. He said, no, the last time I was attacked on that route, I'm going to take this route that I want to take. So there was a fracas between him, his supporters. He was accompanied by the supporters. They threw tear gas. They broke his vehicle. Their videos. They broke his vehicle. They sprayed into his car. They, you could see them hitting his car, broke the vehicle, took him out of his vehicle. And now he, they were pushing and pulling between him and his security and the national the security, the beep security guys they took him and put it in his car so he was hard they, he was malhandled and they took him to court so when they took him to court the procedure was going on and on it was at that point that the the the, 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 the senegalese young the young as i said the supporters got upset and started burning they have born vehicles they're born as we speak i was just watching a live video where they're burning places they have born the ocean these are big Senegal, um, french supermarkets and they're not just doing it in dakar it's like in all the region, in Kazamas, in Binjon, in Chess, in Bake, Tuba, they, they, they're everywhere. And this is, a, this is not something that anybody wants to see anywhere. And I think the reason why it's important to talk about this is this. Senegal has been looked at as the, the, big, the biggest democracy in the sub-region. And Macky Sall has portrayed himself like that way. In fact, the reason why he was, he was elected is because when President Ablai Wad wanted to piss his son as the next president, the Senegalese people said, no, we are saying no to Trouhamanda. And Macky's biggest voice was, nobody is going to accept Trouhamanda. But today it seems like that is his objective, and he is making sure his number one opponent is going to face all the hardship. A lot of people say they are going to jail him. And today, this is what, what, what is happening in Senegal. What's your reaction? Well, thank you very much, Fatou, <coughs> once again. Uh, this is just like a deja vu. Um, like you like rightly said, in 2016, 
um, Maki and the Senegalist um, government, they were very forced to go to the United Nations Security Council yeah. to talk about our elections and say, Jame, you know, this Jame, that he refused the, um, the, the election result that, you know, he accepted immediately. Mm. When they, 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 did, they did not even make mention of the two results, two separate results, which have actually caused the whole thing. So, um, Maki and the Senegalese government, you know, they are helping on annexing Gambia mm -hmm. to, to like Gambia to be like a region of Senegal, yes. which we are experiencing at this very moment because um, they have been planning to do that for times immemorial since you know the colonial times when Jawara was during the uh, Fourth Republic. You know, we had this confederation uh, which lasted for I think seven years from eighty two to eighty nine when Jawara realized that really this is not going anywhere because you know the presidency of the first confederation is not changing. And they said no, it's not going to change. Senegal would be the president and Gambia would be the vice. You know, all the way to Jawara said no. Because he was so ill educated and he knew exactly where these people were going. So he decided to opt out mm -hmm. in eighty nine. And that was a bitter pill for them to swallow, considering the fact that you know they were contributing more than the Gambia financially to for that confederation. With the notion that you know they are in the lead. They got Gambia what is where they want them. Now, um, come to the Second Republic, Jamie said, no, listen guys, don't worry. Thank you very much for your service. Thank you very much for being here. We can look after ourselves. So you guys can go. Now, what the Zandam was doing, you know, we had the PIU, that was a new, uh, another unit that was um, <coughs> incorporated within the security um, fraternity, mm -hmm. you know, to replace the Zandams. Yeah. So, which was really okay, because we saw during his reign how um, he was so adamant um, regarding to our peace. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, without peace, nothing can happen, nothing can go right. Okay. Senegal now, um, for with Makisala, he did this second term, two term limits. He was the very one who fought uh, Abu Laiwaga. Yep. Ah. Yep. He said, no, you are not going to have third term. You are going to have a third term limit. It's mm -hmm. two terms. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, yep. even the seven years term period that they had, yep. you know, he reduced it to five. Yeah. Charles, can you check your volume, because, please? I'm um, mm -hmm. trying to show the people that, you know, listen, um, democracy this, democracy that. Yeah. But Fatu, at that time, President Jammer was here. Mm -hmm. In the Gambia, there was no hope of you know what they have, what they have right now. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, after President Yamel left and President Barrow went to him, you know, to to whatever for them to come back to Gambia. Now they know that oh my God, we now got Gambia where we wanted them, and this time it's even better because they are here kneeling in front of us to seek for 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 help. Now this is where you have the Akome, this and that you know, coming over, which they disguise, because they are Senegalese soldiers, disguised as economic. Because um, Gambia government cannot tell us that, no, we are going to have security, uh, Senegalese security forces, you know, here in the country. So obviously they will have to disguise it in the form of, uh, in the name of um, economic. Mm. So economic, their presence always is somewhere that there is a conflict. Like conflict resolutions and you know bring peace. Gambia, there was no problem. There was no uh, uprising or anything that was going on to warrant their presence, especially for six good years. Now they're still here, and their mandate is extended. You know, for what reason? You know, they know better than us. But we knew from day one that, you know, this is not the case. They are not here to make peace because you go and settle down um, uh, a problem where there, where there is problem. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in Gambia, there is no problem. Yeah. There wasn't any. So obviously, uh, now that, you know, he knew and his government, they knew that, you know, they have Gambia where they wanted it. Um, he wants a third term. He wants to continue because as soon as he leaves for the second term, after the second term, whoever comes might, you know, um, jeopardize, you know, what is already existing between the relationship of Gambia and Senegal. Remember, President Barrow said um, at the bridge, our bridge, yeah. our bridge in Yili Tenda and Bamba Tenda. Mm -hmm. It's not in the border. Yep. That's in the Gambia. That's our river Gambia. Yeah. 
and that bridge was uh, Trans Gambia Bridge. It was open from for Makisal because he Can was campaigning. No, he, he he came and did the opening. He did yes. the opening ceremony. He cut the ribbon. I was there. Yusundur was there, and mm -hmm. you know <laughs> they, they, call it Senegambia they use it as a campaign material mm -hmm. for 2019's Makisal's um, second term. As if you know Senegal, you know they they, they, they sponsor that bridge or they they they, they 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 need that bridge more than do we do because you know they, you know they have to go all the way. The other route is to go to to Tambacounda. Ah, come on, that's a nightmare. They lose millions by doing that because it's hot. The temperature, the car tires are always bust. You know the 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 goods are always perish. You know and they don't want that. You now the bridge is a very comfortable um, passage. For them, for the customers and the you know whatever where whatever they want to transport to to yeah. north and south, it's a lot easier. So um, Maki really is is trying to back the interests of Senegal, but the Senegalese people are telling him, listen, Gambia is not our problem. Gambia is a sovereign, independent nation. Leave them alone. Let's talk about here. You are not going to have third term. You said it. You fought for it. You changed the constitution. Yeah. You know, from you know what it was to where it is right now. That's the two term limits. So we don't want to listen. We don't want to talk about Gambia. Gambia is an independent sovereign nation. Leave them alone. We are talking about here, Senegal, and this is the situation. Maki is telling them, trying to tell them in hindsight. Listen, guys, listen, calm down. Let's annex Gambia. Let Gambia be our own zone region. You know, we have our um, our uh, how to call it our gov governor. Adam Abaro, there. So let's let's just carry on. And they are saying to, they are telling him, no, listen, you are not listening to us. We don't care about Gambia. Leave Gambia alone. This is what the Senegalese masses is saying, and that's what they are demonstrating. They are showing him that listen, we don't care what uh, benefits are with the Gambia, um, us and Gambia, but leave Gambia alone. We have to pro uh, progress, and the progression will be Usman Sonko. And he knew with Usman Sonko, Usman Sonko don't even care about France, let alone, you know, annexing Gambia. <laughs> you know, so he doesn't want that. Yeah. So, and this is what the manifestation. And honestly, I, I just have to thank God, or we have to thank God that, you know, everything now is coming back in the open because it's just like a deja vu. This is what they wanted for Gambia. They wanted Gambia to go in flames because they knew um, if that a second result is pronounced, different from the first, President Jame will say no because they know him. They know that you know he's an assertive leader, and I would I would say no myself because in the, in the whole entire um, history of elections anywhere in the world there is no two results, two separate results. No, there's none. So obviously in our constitution um, uh, about elections there are only two provisions. One is to recount. That is, if you keep the marbles in intact and seal them after counting them, then you can recount. If that's not the, if that's not the case, then you have to go to re-elections. Re now, Jamme was acting on the constitution of this republic, the constitution that the current president, our president, Adam Baro, His Excellency, is using. So. Um, it's just a matter of deja vu. Yeah. You know, the Maki shoot himself in the foot and you know he he is gonna pay the price. There is no if, but or maybe. He's going to pay the price. No, and Senegalese people are doing what they want because this is this is the case. this is the problem. Whenever something somebody is doing something bad, help him. I like our noble prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says. And when he told the Sahaba, the Sahaba told him, Ya Rasulullah, we know and so, somebody who's oppressed. We can help them, but an oppressor, how can we help an oppressor? He said, tell him the truth. Tell him the truth. Tattoo. Prof, um, yes. now it seems like there's a new breed of oppositions in, in the sub-region. Usman Sonko has brought a different vibe when it comes to, he, brought, he brings resistance. And a lot of people in Senegal will say, Sonko of the in the fitna. This is what a lot of people will say, that they in the fitness, he real me. But do you think it's because he's been oppressed so much? That's why he's, be, he's, he's, he's bringing resistance. Because three days ago, the, the Yewi Asken, we had a, they had a big meeting. And his message was really, really like resistance. Sunyugenalen, sunyulale, nyuhe hak nyom. He, he tells them, let's fight them. Maki Salmon will me. His message is very strong. And that scares a lot of people also in Senegal. They think he's, he's bringing a new breed of resistance. But people will say, no. If you have 
you you are doing all of this to me. What do you want for me to sit and look at you? So what is Crazy. what do you think? What's your own observation as to what is happening in Senegal? Uh, thank you very much. I may have few things to say mm -hmm. uh, with regards to Senegal. Mm -hmm. uh, on this resistant movement, it is an issue of self-protection. Because looking at this situation, count back on the lives of Karim Wad and others who were illegally detained for not doing anything. Chill. Just mm -hmm. falsely charged. Yeah. And in certain circumstances, when you are falsely charged, before people are aware of what had happened, then you are already in jail mm -hmm. or in jail. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in this moment, I may say what had tra transpired earlier on was accusation, an allegation levied on self, uh, Osman Sonko yeah. that he raped. Yep. Knowing that he did not rape, then they decided to bring other issues just to stain him. Yeah. So Sonko is protecting himself. And then whereas call on people to stand firmly so that a thing like that of uh, Karim and others do not occur again. Yeah. Because in as much as they are able to get Usman Sonko in jail, who else would be counted again? Yeah. Nobody knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be an immediate family member of someone else. So in this, in order to end this, this is the only option. Maki is attempting to assassinate yeah. Usman Sonko. Mm -hmm. And that is clear. Mm -hmm. Looking at the circumstances of today's incident, likewise previous incidents, yeah. there is no way that he wants to do other than to kill him or to put him, mm -hmm. put him in jail, mm -hmm. which is wrong. Absolutely. And I believe it is high time that the echoes, AU and others. That's right? where I was going to come in. <laughs> As I touched on it, that's where I was going to come in. When, when countries announce who they task, even before they establish anything, ECOWAS AU comes out with statements. Right. They condemn them. Mm -hmm. But as we speak, in on the 14th March, the 24th, last year, uh, March 24th incident with Usman Sonko, 14 people died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no statement. And the, and There's no and investigations. And mm. nothing happened. Mm. And a lot of people are still in jail. Mm -hmm. As we speak, they have over 100, and, over 100 political hostages that this current Makisal government are, are holding hostage in Senegalese jails, some of them for doing nothing. Today, last time, a lot of people were uh, arrested. Again, today, people, a lot of people, including Sonko's own uh, security, have been arrested. Now, a lot of they are burning down businesses. They are burning down vehicles. They are burning down issues. Everything is on standstill right now in Senegal. No one is hearing from ECOWAS and AU. But if, if the military or something happens in Senegal, you will hear statements. Should, should the regional bodies continue to act in this way? These are circumstances that lead into coup d'etat. When people are oppressed to whatsoever level, when they are upset, of course there are military personnel whom I feel, for example, if I am in the military, and I feel that a native or a supporter of a person that I supported when it comes to politics is being uh, falsely charged or is being maltreated, what do I do? Anger pushes an individual or a group of people to cause irrelevant moves. So looking at this moment, and I believe Equas will not say a statement, because knowing the country or the countries that are behind Senegal, and which Usman Sonko is not in support of that country. Yeah. Usman is trying mm. to liberate Senegal. Mm. Other powerful countries are trying to grab Senegal into their own hands, loot them anyhow they feel like, take their resources, mm -hmm. and manipulate them. Yeah. Before the next generation is aware, well then, they are gone. The damage is done. Mm -hmm. They are gone. So this is why it is high time that Equus should have rise up. Indeed, they should rise up to support the Senegalese people, not even Usman Songo, because this is an issue, national issue, which even attracts international. No. So why would Equas remain silent? Because France is behind Senegal. No. And Songo is not in support of France. Yeah. Economic, it's for economic reasons. Yeah, and in fact, the burning of these vehicles is going to create an econ economic losses. Yeah. Big time. Fuel, people, shops are closed. Yeah. You understand? Are Homes are born up. Mm -hmm. You understand? All these are issues that are irrelevant when it comes to leadership. He is 
he is up to his own interest. But he should have looked into the interest of the general citizens. Yeah. I mean, I mean, regarding the role of the international community, especially ECOWAS, um, while I will, I will, yeah, say that um, the the role could be limited. Yes, fine, because um, it's an internal internal affair, or whatever, as a sovereign country. But it's also important that they try to prevent, you know, I mean, conflicts yeah. when when the early warning, warning signs are clearly that's written on the wall, um, and and that's why like a lot of people blame them for that. Like you all said, um. And when you look at um, a lot of um, conflicts that emerge, sometimes, like you said, the situation of coup d'etat, um, sometimes the, when people are so oppressed, they're pushed to the wall, and they have you know, no option. The military will always take that as an excuse to say they have a responsibility to rescue the civilian population mm -hmm. from, from the oppressive regime. Mm -hmm. that's, that's quite interesting. And I, I, I like it when you bring in the context of the Gambia, the relationship between Senegal and Gambia, I mean, the confederation coming to the Jame era, I mean, coming also to um, you know the Barrow era, how the dynamics have changed. Mm -hmm. When you look at Gambia's foreign policy on the Jawaram, I mean, a bit of both. I mean, cooperative, but also a bit of um, aggressive. But we've seen more of aggressive foreign policy that Yaya Jame adopted towards Senegal, and now we are seeing um, Gambia's foreign policy. Well. I wouldn't say whether we have a clear, I know we don't have a clear strategic <laughs> foreign policy towards Senegal. They know exactly what they want. But SR, SR, we just treat them as big. Uh, SR, yeah. We SR. treat SR. Senegal as yeah, big. The, 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 aggressive, the aggressive foreign policy from, from Rajame's regime was, uh, was justified. No, no, I'm, because I'm not, really, no, I'm, I'm not. You can see all, 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 I'm, I'm just how, how many contracts. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to explain. I'm just how trying. many contracts did Jame give to the Senegalese companies? I'm just, I'm just he was explain. prioritizing them in everything. I'm just trying to everything. See, explain how the dynamics change in the change. context of yeah. international politics, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. foreign policy. Mm -hmm. um, borrow, of course, a more of an mm -hmm. accommodative for the policy mm -hmm. less aggressive that's not all accommodative that. that is like people in <laughs> Senegal everything that they want well, well, oh, but, 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 of course but, 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 I'm, but I'm so you, made, you mentioned something very interesting and I want to I want to get back to you that but you said uh, when people are oppressed oppressed and they have no option sometimes they have to fight back but I mean the guy that you support Yaya Jame mm -hmm. somebody in Senegal could also argue that he was equally oppressing People in the Gambia. He violated the rights of people in the Gambia, oh. and up to date, up How? to date, and I'm coming. <laughs> up to date, you still support the same man. What Usman, I mean, Makisal is doing to Usman Sonko in Senegal and other people in Senegal. Yeah, Jame equally did the same. Oh, what? False, false. To Gambia. To Gambia. Who? How that's is that false? false? Who? That's false. But you have seen that. I don't need to tell you who no, no, and no, who. No, no, no. Who? That's false. You know the number of people that have been saying do something. That is not false. Listen. That is out there. Excuse it's evidence. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. And then you Taking stands mm. that are, of course, dependent to the constitutions of a nation is different from what Maki is doing today. So Yaya Jame was killing people. That is in the interest of the constitution. Did Maki Of course. It's out there. The evidence are there. No. I don't need to tell you that no, no, there are 240 no, no. people have been killed in this country. My friend, my friend, those are allegations. Do what you allegations? Hear? Have you ah. seen it? Prof uh, have you seen the proof slides? What is happening? There are allegations. No, no, no. Have you seen the proof slides? What is happening in Senegal? Where are there proofs for you to issue to the public? People have been killed here April 14. What happened? But it, ha it, ha it happened in no, 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 Faraba. No, 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 no. It happens in Faraba is, too. Is, no, Faraba to people were killed listen to for me. protesting. Listen to me. I'm just giving you. I don't know that was killed. No, we're just protesting. 1994, November 11. Uh -huh. Soldiers were executed in cold blood. Which ones? Basil Baro and and crew. What were they doing? No, 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 no. Listen to why, me. Why were they executed? No, 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 no. Listen to, listen to me. I'm just giving you incident. Why were they executed? I think it's very, it's important that you listen to me. No, why? I'm giving you incident. Why I'm giving you? They are just allegations. It's of a different. I think it will be important that you listen to me. Allow me to learn, and then you come. Allow me to learn. Where are you going to? It's not a point that you should. You cannot decide that. You cannot decide that. No, no, no. I have a right. Let me come. I give an example of 1994, November 11. Mm -hmm. Dozens of soldiers mm -hmm. were executed in cold blood. What have they done? Just, uh, just allow me to learn. Okay, let him we, we, we we to get, no, if you want ahead, to get sir. into that, go ahead. April 10 and 11, 2000, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. students were massacred in this country. Mm -hmm. 2009, yeah, Jamba was going out after people calling them witches. Mm -hmm. Some have died of had, pers had personal interactions with some of these people who are still sick. Mm -hmm. Some of them were killed. 
Some of them were given concoction to drink and they died from that mm -hmm. because really? of the illness, what they went through. Really? Do you understand? Really? You cannot tell me that all of you, can, both of you cannot sit here mm -hmm. and tell me that you're not aware of the atrocities that were committed in this country. What so, 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 look, so, the so TRRC that, report is there. TRRC? It's telling us everything that happened in this country. You people TRRC? that killed people came out and confessed. You're telling yeah, me that Barra you know, you go to TRRC? You want to deny that? that so, no, 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 what I'm saying is that. Now you've made your point. Now you've made your point. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Would that warrant? If that is the case, would that warrant Macky Sall to commit such crimes? I'm not no. saying that. I'm not no. saying no. that. No. If you just condemn Macky, condemn the as well. Yeah, no. No. no, excuse me. Okay. Just answer and remain silent. Yes. Go ahead. 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 Are there proofs for you to gather and show it to the people? Because you made mention of the TRRC. Which was a one side story. Oh, please. And at the same time, excuse oh, me, on, it's a silence. It's a remain calm. It's a really? Okay, go ahead. Remain calm. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. It is a commission where as people are bribed as to what to say. And uh, do you have any say. proof of that? I of course, it. yes. Where is the proof? Of course, Isa, yes. If I, if I should bring you proof that they are killed, bring me proof that people Isa, are bribed. Listen to me. So listen bring me proof. Isa, I can even tell you names. No, give me proof. I can tell you names. Bring me proof. I will tell you names of people who were who were bribed and they never refused to take that bribe. That's a Proof. Isa, you need to listen. Isa. <laughs> you call on us to listen to you. Listen to us. Yeah, go, go ahead. Isa, I, I got so my I water. Give, you know. I, I give. I give. Go you, ahead. Paji, I give you five minutes to three minutes to wrap this, so we can go on to. Other no, you get to. maximum time to okay. Isa to okay. explain. I give so you five need to listen. Go ahead. Okay, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Isa, mm -hmm. you cannot compare November mm -hmm. 11. That's one oh, incident. No, no. It's, excuse That's one incident. Excuse me. Excuse me. Go ahead. Excuse me. You cannot compare kudetas with issues like this. You understand? Mm -hmm. In a coup d'etat, if you are conducting a coup d'etat, you realize that you be a successful man or to hell. You are dead. Of course. Excuse me. When Jame was, was acting on this marked, uh, uh, actions, mm -hmm. he believed if I, success, uh, if I succeed, that is for the benefit of the country. If I do not, whatever happens, that is. You understand? So in as much as these are the issues, circumstances that warrant them, you cannot compare that to this. And at the same time, you cannot take the TRRC as a serious commission oh. to be fucked. <laughs> you cannot take TRRC to be a... <laughs> there funny. are people that are coming. I heard of an audio, a voice recorded, where the lady is second to Isabel, who got married to the other member of commission. Alaji Baro. Alaji Baro. Are you condemning coup d'etat? Excuse me. Are you excuse condemning coup d'etat? Coup d'etat of, of all, any, any excuse kind, me. yes. Condem condem yes. Condemn coup d'etat in the first yes. place. Yes, he came to power through a coup d'etat. Yes, of we can so tell you that he was wrong. He said he should not have done that. If he did not succeed, but he has No, 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 don't say he did not succeed. You cannot bring that. He succeeded. You cannot bring that. No, 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 of course. That's very dishonest. That's very dishonest. Nessa. Nessa. Okay, go ahead. I'll come back to you. Nessa. I'm closing this topic. No, I'll Nessa. come back to him. Go ahead. Nessa, <laughs> if you accept that, you know, the um, Aruna, Aruna Jata's um, killing mm -hmm. for demonstrating in Kalilai was Adam Abaro's fault, as well as the um, Faraba kids who were killed in cold blood mm -hmm. for just protesting, the for giving out their, their, their land to the Chinese, mm -hmm. they went out and protested and they were killed on, you know, on a broad daylight. Mm -hmm. If you a a associate that with Adam Baro, if you said that Adam Baro did that, then I will accept that Jack President Jame did that as well. But, this is but if you don't, yes, I don't bring this topic because yeah. we can be here until... Um, do, um, and, I, I, and I want to move on. You want to move on. <laughs> 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 Baro did not do any That was also an allegation. Baro, they were conducting a coup d'etat. How do you know that? That was a coup d'etat. What was the evidence? That was a coup d'etat. What was the evidence? It was a coup d'etat because it was mentioned from the TRRC. That ah, now you believe the TRRC. TRRC that now you believe in no, TRRC. No, I'm not believing it. <laughs> I'm not believing it. I'm, I'm, I'm just quoting. I'm just quoting. No, yes, I'm just quoting from the same Barayego um, show called TRRC. You believe in Basiru Baro? Because of the TRRC, you believe in Basiru Baro? No, 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 no. I'm just quoting. According to you, the same, the same, the same TRS that you're talking about. Let's go ahead. I'm just quoting there. You see? Don't worry about it, brother. When you, once you bring that subject, oh come on, you don't have enough. I think yes, you know. I think we will bring this conversation because there will be a day when Jamie will appear in court. And we will sit oh, with you, you people. What are you guys waiting on? What are you guys waiting for? What are you waiting on? So we will let's talk. Why are you waiting? I'll be drinking my coffee. Good. And then we hope 
you also drink your coffee elsewhere. <laughs> so now, Why are you waiting? Bring him. Well, we will, we will update our followers after what's happening in Senegal. I, yes. I believe what is happening in Senegal is really serious. It is. You not be oppressing your opponents. Which Every cannot be single... compared to what is yeah. what, what they claim to have happened yeah. in Every Ghana. single Gambia person. Is worse Every on single the person. You believe? Yes, sir. I wish you. You know, you are not on social media. Mm. You did not see what happened today. <laughs> yes, things happen in Gambia. That is true. But we, what we are seeing in Senegal today is really serious. And I think people, we should call it out. That is what is happening today. When we had our issues in Gambia, mm -hmm. every Senegalese platform was talking about what was coming happening here. In fact, the Senegalese media were in this country, in this country of reporting course. what was happening. Oh, right. Now, that's why it mm -hmm. is important we talk about these things. Absolutely. Because whatever happens in Senegal will affect, will affect us. And today, yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, what I believe most is I believe that now that the Senegalese forces in the Gambia should have leave to go and protect their own citizens. Absolutely. Instead of remaining here, because we are not in war, we are not in demonstration or uprising. Yeah. So now that the Senegalese people are dying, they have all the Senegalese to go are home. Injured, the main opposition leader is under threat at all costs. Senegal should leave. What should they do? Well, they should leave. What do you mean, why? Well, well, they should leave. and I all believe that we don't need a comic in Gambia. We don't need a comic. But he's saying that. and I all believe. Esa and I all believe. We don't need a comic. They should go back. I don't have a problem with that. But he's saying that they should go and protect their people. Protect them as well. And stop. To make peace. 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 To make Committing crimes, humiliating the people of Gambia, more so the people of Foy. Killing them. Killing and, them. And you, and you, you the, on a serious note also, you, the, the, the National Assembly members uh, went to see the president because they had the, made a, the, issued a petition mm -hmm. and have written to the president to address the issues in Foy. Mm -hmm. And I think we have sat here many times to say, you know, I have relatives in Fony, and I think a lot of people also do. And it is wrong, whether it is in Fony or in Buyam or is in Lamen or in anywhere. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to live the way, you know, what was happening. People being killed, right. drone being shot, and all that stuff. And the National Assembly members took that concern. They did not look at any political issues. They went to see the talk president, about the burning issues. To talk really. about the burning issues. I think that is political maturity. Of course. What is the extent of that visit right now? What what would what, what, what they said they discussed with the president and he got he promised to go back to them. Are you optimistic that the president will address <coughs> that issue? Well to tell you the truth, no, I'm not op optimistic at all. I am the least op optimistic. For the simple reason that you know um it's not into in, in his interest. Just like I said earlier on, you know <sighs> Um, our president, our government is uh, being directed is by the Senegalese government. It is the interest of Senegal for, um, and Makisala for, for, for their soldiers to be there because they wanted to uh, tackle the issue of Kasamas. But they wanted to use our, our, our little Gambia, our peaceful Gambia, as the launch pad. Because, I mean, from the Senegal end, you know, they've, they've tried for decades. Almost four decades. They've tried from the Senegal side. So now they want to try the Gambian side because everybody heard over the years that they're accusing President Jame, that he's, um, you know, financing the rebels and, you know, looking uh, taking, taking care of them, which is not the case. So obviously now they had that access because that's the first thing that they did. They, when they came, um, a team went to the state house, the, the other team went to Fony straight away at Buyam and mounted a checkpoint. I've never seen that anywhere in the world, wherever I travel. In fact, I'm pretty sure you haven't seen it as well, mm -hmm. as well as ASR. But that happens, and it's still happening. So, really, I'm not op optimistic. I think President Barrow is just trying to silence us. Okay, and you got the letter. Okay, yes, you guys come. Alan Wasala, no problem. Come, sit down. Empty your chest. You know, your grievances. No problem. I've listened to you. Now go. I will not even give you water to drink. I'm just giving you time to come and empty your chest and, you know, show the wall, you know, 
that you know I've invited you after receiving your your, your petition just to be to, uh, pretend to be a nice guy, really. But he's not going to do nothing about it. Now, if President Jame was there, they would not be here anyway. I'm giving. I'm just trying to make a comparison. Yeah, he would have acted on it straight immediately mm -hmm. because even one life matters. Yeah. One, let alone few or many. You understand? So really, it's not, it's, I don't see it happening. It will really surprise me, and I will come back here if that happened and say, Fatu, um, put me live. I want to apologize to President Baro. So you think he's not going to he's do it? He's not going to do it. Okay. I can put my life on that. Okay. He's not. Uh, you think he's going to do something? No way he would not. Because you know some of the lessons? Why? As a leader, you have quali qualities of leadership. And these two, if you lack them, you are nowhere. The ability to act and implement, Baro lacks that. Baro lacks the ability, the qualities of acting and implementing. He doesn't act. And he doesn't move unless and until you move him. This is Baro. To be frank with you, Baro has noticed what had been happening in Fony and then the most serious thing, a presidential convoy passing through that point. You see the situation. And as much as oh, if the president is passing, you see him very like this. They don't remove the convoy. They don't remove no. it because they put big plastic, heavy logs, heavy, heavy logs, logs, and put sand in it, which is not movable. And Gambians need to be aware of this. It is not about for you. How many trucks? How many vehicles? were passing by and then the, suddenly they got accident. Yeah. People were uh, taken to Biam Hospital and later to Banjul. You understand? Who knows who is next? And this is the only Trans Gambia Highway whereas people, if you are if you go to the upper uh, side of the country, you must pass by. Or else you go through the river. And if you want to avoid the river, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Trans Gambia is the only road. Mm -hmm. so, his subordinates should be able to act and implement the people of Fony and more so. In fact, the people of Fony are tired of this, and then he might not realize that they are tired or fed up. But once they react, it could be anything because they could lead to, it could lead to a price, may God forbid, it could lead to unstoppable demonstrations, whereas people would be affected economically whatsoever. Well, I hope just I hope, like what is happening in Senegal, hope, it can I happen. Hope, I hope they take care of the child. Can you check uh, Ansu's mic, please? Now let's go back to the Unoto Alliance. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. See, well. I had APRC. When did we have APRC? Uh, Duruja? Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and we were talked about election. Mm -hmm. We are going to, into the local government elections. Mm -hmm. I heard you on the brunch that you are going to put candidates across the country. Yes. Is that so? Are you still yes. standing by? Yes. That? As a matter of fact, at this very minute, mm -hmm. you know, um, some of our candidates have been um, nominated already from Tuesday. We started from CRR, mm -hmm. you know, all three of them are have nominated and, you know, it's coming down. You have three in CRR? No, three, of course. Okay. If you're going to contest, right now we have 42 candidates. 42? 42 candidates Whoa. across the country. Your, your APRC have 16. Well, they are restricted. They, they, that is not APRC because those people went and sold their soul. They are APRC. They sold their soul. They took the papers. They, ha they are with papers. They are not with the masses. APR, APRC, you cannot take Babylon Mansaf away from APRC. You can't. You cannot take Usenu Dabo from, you cannot take UDP from Usenu Dabo. You cannot certainly do, you cannot take GDC from uh, Mama Kande. How can you take NPP uh, from um, uh, President Adama Baro? How? That's, I mean, it's not possible. Does, 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 does that say, um, I mean, a lot of people will say that political parties in the Gambia mm -hmm. are built around personalities. They well, revolve around individuals. I'm coming. If you tell us that you can't take UDP from Usenu Dabo, mm -hmm. you can't take GDC from Mama Kande, mm -hmm. NPP from Adama Baro, mm -hmm. at the same time, um, APRC from Ejame, does this mean that the APRC, because for me, political parties are bigger than individuals. They are bigger than leaders. Of course. Even if the leader is not there, the party should be an institution. It mm. should continue it is an to survive. So Jamme is an individual mm -hmm. in APRC. 
<laughs> APRC can survive, can continue with oh. the agenda. APRC well, is surviving. Before you even answer that question, I want to come in. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, he is the anybody like Esa. If you come to Kerfatu today and 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 take me oh, out of my you 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 just took that to, from my mouth there. there. You I just to took that from my mouth. I swear by Allah. I was just gonna say that. I swear to God. I was gonna say that. I believe what you said. You took the paperwork. No, no, I disagree. Okay, you can disagree only like one minute. Give me a chance. Allow me. Yes, sir. Allow me, yes, sir. Let him finish. You ask the question, let me answer. Yes, sir, please be reasonable. Okay, go ahead. Maybe today. I'll make my point. Maybe today is the first time that you know we share a platform. I think you don't know me. I think you don't know me. Go ahead, I'll make my point. Listen, this is my favorite subject. Trust me. Listen, um, with all jokes aside, uh Fabakari you know, it's a betrayer. It's Alibaba and the 40 thieves. <laughs> he took something that doesn't belong to him. If Afar Bakari should um, proclaim that, you know, he is the leader of APRC, even the people that are listening to him are, 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 are dumb. Fabakari, APRC made Fabakari Tomogyata. Nobody knew Fabakari Tomogyata before he joined the APRC. I knew him. He was my enemy. no. I mean, for twenty years. I mean, on the on the political enemy. platform, he can be your relative. I don't care about that. I, I don't have any relative. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm saying I'm saying he can be oh, your yeah. relative. Yes, sir. But but but, ah, okay. but, but, but listen. Mm. How how what, what, he was an MP of what party? APRC. APRC. Of course. This is what I said. APRC made Fabakari. No, I thought you are saying now. Oh, nobody. No, 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 no. That, it cannot be now because he was a majority leader. Yeah. So people knew him. People voted for him as a result of being a APRC candidate and so is every other person that was within the APRC cadre. You understand? So that person cannot come and say, listen, I own APRC. Come guys, follow me. Because why? He went to Adam Obaro, President Adam Obaro <laughs> in 2017 when President Jame just left the source of this country for Gambia to be peaceful, to have peace, to maintain the peace. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So if that guy did that at that time, President Barrow went to um, Sukuta on his um, presidential campaign trail yeah. and praised him for being loyal and being a, a loyal individual. In this was in 2017. He stated he was there with Sidi Njai. And these are the very two people who top our, 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 our National Assembly. He's the Speaker and the Deputy as a reward. Do you understand what I'm saying? So listen, you can say whatever is it that you like, but the people out there, our viewership, I swear by Allah, they will even they will mock at you. They will say, oh, yes, listen, man. Yes, sir, how can you say that? A, an intelligent person like you, how can you just reason outside, you know, you know within no, the we box? Are we are talking we about are outside the box. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> APRC, if Babylon Mansa was not alive, mm. we will still go by his principles. Mm. Because you know what is his principles? is our constitution. It's amazing, right? No, it's not necessarily Jamaism. It's the constitution, the mechanism that you know we work with. Just like SIU today, you cannot take Kirfatu out, uh, from, from my sister I here. I will resist. Yeah, of course. I will resist Even if he is not present, even if he travels, if yeah. she travels, mm -hmm. still, she is the owner of Kirfatu. None of you. I told Lamin Cham the other time. How can Brunch so with Lamin Cham you just with his soul and just oh yeah, now yeah, you no don't don't worry. I own Kerfatu. Do things on your own. I, I will do it my way. No, it has to be Fatu Fatu Ture's way. Oh you you your, your how you mean Fatu Ture's way? Yeah, of the course. Deficit. No, but there, there, there is a principle. There, there, there is, um, um, That's um, no principle no, anymore. No, 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 no. I, 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 I no, took that word. Yes, 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 I don't mind that. I don't mind that because I have the energy. I have the energy. Manda mam energy, Bobo. You understand, Lulu, because you get the Roboka platform. No, I'm not. You have a lot of energy. I swear to God. And this is my favorite subject. Yes. This you will allow me to also make it. Listen, Esa, we are contesting countrywide. Yeah. We, we That's no, good. No, 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 nobody, nobody restricted us so you because we are independent. Independent. We are yes. moving independently. Mm -hmm. Fabakari and and team cannot move independently. They have to be restricted because they sold their soul. They sold it already. You understand? So they they, they want to do. They want to contest. They deprive him. Well, of course. 
Even, even um, um, how do you call it? Axon Man. Yeah. Axon Man wanna contest in Banjul. Mm -hmm. And they restricted. He said, no, listen, you guys, you listen, Naughty Corner, don't move. Go to Naughty Corner. We don't have that. We will not have it. Because you know why? We are doing a decent politics. Decent are you guys politics. contesting in KM and Banjul and West Oh, make no mistake. As chairmen and mayors. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. And chairman as well. In Cayman Bible. Of course. Birkama, CRR. We are going to contest in every one of those seats. Take it from me. Ah. I mean, it's important because I've said to Duruja here when he was sitting here, I said, I know this is government and you are coalescing with government financially, it's good and all of that. But how. You, do you think this will affect the popularity of your party? Because if you're not contesting in election, then you cannot measure your powers. Because APRC was known to be a, a, like a stronghold in KM. The but today, um, I don't know what is the level. Fatu. So, and, 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 so and, and, you NCP. people, the, the, we will know what will happen in in the chairmanship and mayor elections, or even next month in the local government uh, councillors election, exactly. when when you guys go against each other. Fatu, just to check in on that, NCP, after the 2001 elections, mm -hmm. they came and have a coalition with APRC. As soon as they did that, there was no NCP anymore. Because you are linking, you are working with um, 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 uh, the incumbent. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So you cannot call yourself APRC and, and NCP. You remember Sir yes, Sir yes, 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 Mustafa yes, Diwa yes. was even the, the, the speaker of the National yes, Assembly at the true, time. Yes, yeah. So there was no NCP. So if APRC now goes to N, N, uh, NPP, you know, there will be no APRC anymore. Because even if you are restricted for buying you for wherever you can contest, but so you are giving limited chance of surfacing. And if you are not out there politically, you know, it's like, you know, you, you're killing the party. It's going to go dead. Yeah. But after some while, Anzu, they, they, they said you guys, Yendal, then you hunted the guy, phony reckler. Guy, you know, the truth is, it's phony. We know we, you know, we can sleep here and believe that you are going to win phony. Mm -hmm. That is true. We know you are going to win. In fact, Demba, this is the candidate award, the APRC sent candidate, Koku Nyot, Hauma Luhel. They were supposed to have 12, and but in phony, the candidate award candidate did not come. To, no, this is for Fabakarikam. For yeah, the Fabakarikam, that's what I'm saying. So we, everybody believes you guys are going to win Fony. But beyond Fony, how powerful are you guys beyond Fony? With the help of Allah, you will be surprised this time. Inshallah. Because Allah. the last time we contested, we did not took class. No. All the candidates got their deposit. And All of our candidates. This year, if National by Assembly. the help of Allah, you will be surprised. How will Allah help you in election? <laughs> Allah will help us when ah. we are willing to do it's it. Is that in this track? <laughs> how did Allah help Go you ahead. in how did, how, how, how did Allah help you to be seated here? No, but it's election. This uh, is no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hey, go, go back to your topic. This man. You see, you see, I, I like I, you, Ezra. I like you, man. I like to like drink you. coffee with you, man. Ezra. I never wanted to talk about Yeah. Because I see today that they are irrelevant at this moment. Definitely. But the yeah, okay. Go ahead. They are irrelevant. What do you mean they are irrelevant? They are irrelevant. Sabak, Fabakar is the speaker. Mm. Fabakar is the speaker of the Nasa. They are whom as a party. Number three as, in the as country. A as a group, they are finished by Baro. They are new. It's just what happened is like they are trying to move when their legs are cut off. So if legs are not available, you only use your hands to move. This is what Tom Mung and Co are doing. Because when they were coming into access, <laughs> The agreement, part of the agreement was, in the local government election, come parliamentary, they were going to contest by party strength. By party strength. And MPP was going to finance all the candidates. I am telling you, it was like the other phone has a problem. If not, I am having the proofs there. You understand? When they came into parliamentary, MPP allowed them only seven candidates. Only seven. A political party like EPRC, only seven. And they have only two NAMs. Only two NAMs. Two NAMs. Yeah, and yeah. Now that they are into the uh, local government election, first, just like Pamudu said, they were deprived from contesting as mayoral or chairmanship. And only given opportunity for them to contest as councillors. In areas where they cannot win. 
We will look ahead with Baro. And there is no way. We are ready for that. Yeah, but and, and so evidence shows that <clears throat> I mean, um, of course you backed GDC in the elections, mm -hmm. um, in the presidential election. Mm -hmm. And we've seen that GDC the performance in twenty sixteen mm -hmm. was far better mm -hmm. than twenty twenty one. Even though mm -hmm. you as a force, as a group, mm -hmm. you backed the GDC, mm -hmm. the performance wasn't good. Mm -hmm. We came to the National Assembly election. No, I, no, I'll stick a pin. Right. The performance was better right. because there were only three presidential candidates in 2016. No, no, no. no, no. no, no, no. There were only, only three. But <laughs> 20, but 20, wise, how many did they get? But 2021, there were many, many no, presidential candidates. Oh, oh, so obviously, oh, oh, come on, man. Yes, 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 there was a three man race. No, no, no. This was three contests. I think, I think we're getting it wrong. No, you are getting it wrong, Esa. You are getting it wrong because there were three candidates. Now, 2016, there were five, five candidates. Five and three is different. Order. Let's listen to each other. Go ahead. We speak based on evidence, based on facts, even though we can look at circumstances also. Okay? And we those circumstances are no facts? No, for you, you forget about I am circumstances. Saying, I am saying. <laughs> just allow me to But this is a very important <laughs> circumstance. What I'm mm -hmm. saying is that, uh -huh. even though, like, just like when people say that 2016, mm -hmm. Um, 2016 election was a coalition. Mm -hmm. The UDP, for example, before the 2021 presidential election, UDP was the biggest political party in the Gambia. Do you agree? Your own, when your own view. When was it? Opposition. When was your it? own view. No. Oh. When was after it? the election? After the election. When we ah, measure okay. the size of political parties, oh, okay. in line with in political behavior, when we measure the size of political party, when we look at their strength, we look at the votes, the number of votes or the percentage that they have in election. Mm -hmm. If you can look at that we look at the number of seats that they have in parliament, or sometimes we look at their membership. Mm -hmm. But in the Gambia, we don't have these official records of party membership. Mm -hmm. And the 2016 election, for example, was not contested. It was only APS and GDC that contested our parties. But the rest was coalition. Do you understand? But even with that, now we go by the parliament, the seats in parliament, and UDP had 31 seats in parliament. Therefore, we say the UDP was the biggest party. But after that- Because it was after, a UDP-led government. But I just allow it me was. to learn. Just allow me to learn. 2021 presidential election. Today, NPP is the biggest political party in the Gambia. Do you no, agree? No, no. Well, I am saying that based on evidence, based on facts, in the sense that even though it was a coalition, the circumstance was that <laughs> other political parties joined, but NPP contested, President Barrow contested on an NPP ticket. And also, NPP as a political party has the highest number of seats no, in parliament. No. How many do they have? They, ha many? they have a coptic members. What COVID member? NPP has 18 seats in parliament. You are telling me co 18? 18, of course. Okay, how many did you have? UDP has 15. 15. How so, many nominated? I'm telling you 18 members. They have 18 elected All members total. in parliament. So they have the highest. Okay. That's why they have the majority. Okay. The majority leader is from the NPP. But because now, they now, had a tactical now, alliance. Now, but that is what I'm That was a tactical that. alliance. Let Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you sometimes you have to listen to your boss. Oh, <laughs> See? Stop listening. Be disciplined, my boy. Be disciplined and listen. I'm talking to you based on evidence. Listen to your boss. I'm from academia. And when we talk, we just talk based on evidence. Yes, circumstances oh, can contribute. Oh, we look oh, at factors oh, oh, that oh, contribute. Oh, oh. But at the end Academia? of the day, ultimately, it's just like when you're solving a mathematical problem. The process, the steps that you're taking are important. But ultimately, the final answer is the most important step. thing. But there's no way. You that there are this, different ways of solving a mathematical taking, problem, my brother. The steps that we are taking. There is no one way. GDC, 2016 presidential election. Mm -hmm. Their performance, I think they were able to secure up to, is it 17% of the votes? 89,000. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were they performed well, even though it's what it was a three-way race. Mm -hmm. 2021, even yes, though. we know the num numbers increase. Number of like, what? Number of candidates increased okay. to six. Uh -huh. Six contested. Uh -huh. But the party's performance in terms <laughs> of on. votes, Esa, Esa, in terms Esa. of percentage, Esa, was not also. Don't disappoint your, your viewers, no, please, Esa, because they are thinking, who, what is this guy talking about? Is who am I talking to? No, you're not talking to me, because I will not take that, Esa. 
If I am saying, so you want to tell me that they perform well? But, well, obviously. Based on what? Be, based, based on what? Based on his three legged race. Evidence. No, because yes, it's three. Yes, three yes, race. Yes, three legged race. But now I am saying that they do not now perform they, well. Based on how can you compare now, three and six? No, you are telling me that they perform well. Based on what? Give me evidence that they perform well. Yeah, because there were only three You are not giving me candidates. any evidence. You are just telling yes, me sir. that it's because of this. I am telling that you. That is evidence. The evidence, the evidence yes, is the percentage drop. I am telling you that they did not perform well. Can you give me evidence that they perform well? The reason why the percentage dropped is because there oh, were oh, many me the, there were twice the more well. there are twice more no. candidate than yeah, the previous yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 that is twice more yes. that was three yes. and yes. Six. allow me what, what i'm saying yes. Yes. Sir, please why will this appoint some of our will this appoint some of our yes i don't think yes sir don't do that in as much as the gdc the the percentage dropped but also what you should also consider but nobody no let me let me finish what we should also consider is this this was a three man race compared to, to six, six person, people in the race <laughs> obviously, 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 obviously it's bound to the race, but the i'm not saying the circumstances are not important <laughs> okay. okay i am not denying that mm. yes. don't get me wrong but that is a key factor i'm not saying it's not a key factor but ultimately okay. what do we look at okay. now okay sir let me ask you now, a question now. now i'm asking you fatu not the not you too i'm you asking you a question has gdc perform well Com uh, compared to the, twi I mean, in 2021 presidential, like, compared to 2016. No, no. They, they have not performed they perform, well. They perform differently. Exactly. And they, but that cannot but be But they came in the same position. Let me, let me They come. finished third. Let me finish. It's that the same cannot, position that they finished. Let me complete here. That cannot be used to measure against APRC performance. Mind you, APRC... I'm after not comparing. I'm not comparing. No, because the reason why they said they have more power than the others, and they will finish president, but that's why you're saying, but you supported GDC, and GDC didn't but do I that. Was more, that was no, coming me, with a question. Let Seriously, me, you people should have allowed me yeah, to but Let me finish, yes, sir. Let me finish. Okay, yes, in, just, the just presidential, in the National Assembly elections, if anything to go by, if anything to go by, the APRC did well even better than all other parties. Against Which APRC? Them. These people yes, against the against the APRC <laughs> Fabakari against GDC. I have not disputed that. Go check my reports. I've said so, that if no alliance has really performed well. Yeah. If no alliance was a party today, in fact, you have five seats in parliament, right? Yes. Probably, if no alliance was a was a was, a, was a party today today, and you were almost there, yeah. you would have had the minority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So party. I have. But what I'm saying is that I was coming to ask a question. Go ahead. Ask and you people question. stop me. Ask, ask a question. question. And I, my, we my, and please do it quickly. No, no, no. Of course. Yes, bring, quickly. bring it down. Bring it down. Okay, go ahead. Go bring your question. DDC's performance in 2016. Compared to 26, 2021, was not good. Mm -hmm. Okay, go now ahead. Now, what's your so question? Good. I'm That's coming. not a question. Mm -hmm. I said also parliamentary elections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though you went on your own, you put up your candidates, GDC contested parliamentary elections on their own, mm -hmm. and they were not able to secure any seats. Mm -hmm. Okay? In, now, in, now bring your question, Esa. Please, bring seats. your question. Coming to <laughs> NPP, I mean, sorry, the No Alliance camp. Bring like your Fatu question. Said, like, mm -hmm. Just allow me. Just go like Fatu ahead. said, <laughs> you have your strength, you seem to have your strength in phony because the parliamentary elections have proven mm. that the presidential elections when you back gdc it has proven that you have your strength in phony because that's where Mwakande was able to win come to the parliamentary elections you can test where, where was Mwakande? no let, let let him finish let him finish let's ask a question let before good advice so again you are two or three and give us three, three and give us the question you yes, were able to win in phony yeah what what convincing Arguments do you have to tell us that you equally have strength in other parts, parts of, of the country, country. apart from Okay, yes. will you be disciplined enough and listen for but the answer? What do you mean by discipline? <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah, because I'm disciplined already. Okay, okay thank okay. you. Go then ahead. then <laughs> wait, wait for my answer. Go ahead. Esa. Say mm -hmm. Mama Kande came third mm -hmm. in the uh, presidential elections mm -hmm. in 2016. Mm -hmm. And so was 2021. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Uh -huh. So obviously, if you finish that in one election, and the, the, the subsequent one, you finish that too. So then it means you are, in, you are, you are at the same level. Mm -hmm. Rational, to rationalize. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in, in terms of the, um, the numbers, the numbers will reduce, simply because uh, there was a three-man race in 2016. 2021, it was a six-man race. So obviously, now, if you were feeding um, your family of three, yeah, um, $10,000 every month. Now, if you have six people now, do you want to still tell me that you're going to use that the same $10,000 to feed six people? No, obviously not. 
Obviously not. Yeah. So just common sense will dictate that, you know, um, you cannot judge, judge that, that amount, 89,000. You know, Mama Kande got more than 89,000 in, in the presidential election in 2021. He got more than 89,000. 89, so obviously there is an increment because he got 89,000 in 2016. So if he got more in 2021, then there is an improvement. How, if what, it, was, what was the score? I, I, I cannot vividly remember because I don't want to say if he got that. Well, you can check it out. But um, it's, it's, it's more than that. It's more than 89,000. Now It's more than 89,000? 80, 89. It's 89, more than 89 000. because he got 89,000. Percent, how about percentage wise? Well, percentage wise, um, okay. because Baro got 53, UDP got 27, that's 80. Mm -hmm. The 20 percent is shared between the rest. So, 17, give it 17 percent or whatever percent. Yeah. Mama Kande 17? 17 percent. Mama Kande 17 percent. Yeah. Can you check like properly? Well, you please, please, you do check that because I'm, I'm not, I'm not reminding myself. <laughs> I, it's just the nature of, it's just the nature of our conversation. It's but, about 11 of what? Aha, uh -huh, now but, you are talking. But listen, compared listen. To 20, no, that's, that's not even relevant right you now. Listen, just give me a second. Let me lie and here. Um, with with uh, us, APRC Babili Mansa, um, our National Assembly elections co um, contest, contestants, our candidates, every single one of the 16 that contested, they got their deposit back. And do you know why they, you get your deposit back? Mm -hmm. Because you get more than half of the, um, uh, um, the voters. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it means whoever won, where we lost, we, uh, we came in second. Mm -hmm. So that's why we get we got our um, our deposit back. So meaning, um, with a uh, little bit more effort to go out there and just do some door-to-door -door campaign and talk to the people, the people are going to come back to APRC. And the the promise that we are going I'm going to make here is watch your back, watch this space, because you know why we are going to prove ourselves in these local government elections. And this is there is no if but or maybe. We are going to do, we are already on it. And we are going to, the, 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 that proof, we will sit down back here again, the four of us, and have yeah, another. With, with seriousness with your party, with regards to your, um, your group, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. um, with all seriousness, when it comes to the issue of um, the issue between Jame and the far back at the camp, um, I've said this, and you can go the records, I've said this in many interviews, that really. Um, I've never heard it, so just give it to me for the yeah, first if time. There is, if there is um, any form of, um, I mean, I mean, because I've told Durija, in fact, yeah. I've had a conversation with him on, I think, this case, when they said they claimed that, okay, Jamme gave them the go ahead mm -hmm. to form an alliance with um, NPP. I told him that there is no evidence to that. We have not seen any evidence. Because when they spoke to Jamme, when Rambo spoke to Jamme, when Tombo Jata spoke to Jamme together with Yanko Bakoli, evidence were there. We had evidence that these people spoke. Yes. But I said now, and Jamme was talking, directing, saying all that should be done in the party. That's mm -hmm. evidence to that. Mm -hmm. But now when you... No alliance. No alliance. He said that clearly. APRC is not going to alliance with any party or whatever. Now you're claiming that Jamme gave you the go ahead. Can you provide us with evidence? He will not be. That's something that really, I mean, I've, I mean, I've pushed them to the corner to provide, but everybody knows that they have no evidence no. to that. No. At some point they were like, they don't want to expose Jamme you know, to be somebody who is not fruitful and all that. Definitely, I mean, when, when it comes to that, I've said that if it, when it comes to betrayal, mm -hmm. definitely is the, is the Tombo Njata camp because these people have never at any point come out clearly with evidence that they want to be in a coalition with the NPP. Mm -hmm. But the only problem I have mm -hmm. is when the APRC as a political party is being personalized, mm -hmm. that without Yaya Jame, there is no APRC. Jamme APRC cannot be taken away from Jamme. Jamme is an individual. No, no, it's not personalized. I mean, so it's not personalized. So when I say things that favor no, you, no, listen no, to me. No, no, no. When I say no, things no, that don't no, favor you, I was just, I was just disciplined okay, enough now, to listen. Okay, talk, talk, I was just disciplined enough to listen to you. So now, how about now? You no, said you are disciplined. How no, about now? Well, no, right now you give me, give me the floor. Yeah, yeah, okay, go ahead. Go, see go ahead. Into politics. See me into politics. It's because of Jamme. Who? Personal. Don't personalize things no, here. No, excuse me. Let's choose me. <laughs> Let him finish. Seeing me into politics is because of Jam. Mm. Likewise, someone else. Mm. You understand? Mm. Gambians must be very much grateful to themselves. Mm. If I was Gambia, mm. listen to my word. Mm. If I was Gambia, mm. even at the National Assembly, I would do anything without mentioning Jam. Without even the National Assembly should, members should not even be seated there without Jam's photo. Oh, really? Yes. Why? 
Why are those people at the National Assembly, those photos at the National Assembly, are they not statements? They are statements. You understand? If you have Jawara as a statement, <coughs> whose picture is attached there, you have Barrow, you have other in, important individuals, you do not have Jamin. Is that sincere? And he's the one who built him. He did not believe that. He made development <laughs> done in the Gambia. I like you. I really like you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, the Gambia wouldn't have been at this stage. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? If what Jamie did mm. was done by the British, mm. Jawara, now Esa, you would have been someone else different from who you are today. Including like absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So Gambians must be grateful to him. Even if no matter what at some point people yeah. might accuse him of. You understand? Let us tell Gambians, look, go and attack Jamie's feet. This season on Kefatu. The reason I have always called for a national dialogue is because a government must be responsive to the needs of its people. Fatu. Tell me one thing, if I'm me today? as an individual, if I know that there is somebody that I definitely wrong, yeah. I will be bold enough to the party. I will appeal to him and apologize him. decision today because I don't make decisions lightly. I investigate. I do my research. I get the facts. I call the experts. I, I summon meetings. I get the technicians. Then I reflect. Let me know. Decision. Why did you lose the election? Well, we lost the election because of the ignorant registration. We had evidence of people who registered before the opening of the election. So um, that was we had a break. Um, um, yes, we had a break in transmission because of now we're going on and off. Mm -hmm. You won't hear. Yeah, it's been like this for the past, and it's going to be like this for the next of the whole month because they did an announcement that they will be having Going some issues, off, so yeah. that means mm -hmm. we, even though we have solar, but if you're on our work and it goes off, this is what happens. Yeah. Now, now let's go to um, when when I spoke to Fabak um, Rambo during, before when these things were happening, mm -hmm. he said, and even Fabak during their press conference always say, um, APRC is going to be part of the next government. Mm -hmm. He always said this mm -hmm. on press conference, we are going to be part of the next government and when we do that, Jame will come back and we will take back government. <coughs> Ian Tam, Ian, <coughs> Fabakari is the speaker of the, the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. That is more of the number three person in the country. Mm -hmm. Why can't you guys reconcile and form a big, one big unit <coughs> and work towards reviving the party and if there's any plan that you guys want Jame to come back maybe because what they told us is part of the agreement was this jam for Jame to come back have you seen this that was right? part of what they said that, but if you guys have explored that maybe you now you would have been part of the government Fatu, and you'll be talking about how to bring Fatu, your leader these back. were just the rhetoric rhetorics that they were using to blindfold the, you know the APRC masses Ramuru, you are they, going <coughs> It's not the truth. That is not the truth. That is not the case at all. I made mention of it. In the agreement, they said contesting the local government election and parliamentary is going to be by party strength. Is that implemented? No. She was just talking about really, you know, what Fabakri said, you know, during the onset, from the onset, you know, that, you know, this is what they were going to do. Now, if he is. Um, um, somebody who is honorable. Mm -hmm. He is number three, like you said. He's num number three and the uh, um, uh, speaker of the National Assembly. Yeah. With sitting guy, of course, deputizing mm -hmm. him. Why can Fabakri <laughs> start working that, uh, working on that with, with, with Adam Abaro? Even though, you know, we are saying no to, to Alliance. Charles, with take your feet, please. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Why, why can't he just go ahead and just fulfill his promises that he promised the people? He can still go ahead. Us saying no to coalition with NPP, we sat down at, in Kanilai. All the media houses were invited. Yeah. That's the first time Jame came and spoke to the whole world, mm. not the Gambians. Yeah. The whole world was listening yeah. that very day. I got people in China 
friends from China who were telling me that they were watching. And we live stream it. it you were live streaming too. Kerfato. And you know Kerfato is the big, one, one of the biggest you know, yes, we network in the country. And we you understand? Yes, Not yes. only you, but all of, all of the medium um, fraternity, they, yeah. were, they were present. And Jamie said he never, he never, he never, <laughs> he never. And they, they never told him about having a coalition with NPP. Now, fast forward, when we were having uh, uh, a coalition with GDC, mm -hmm. uh, the MOU yeah. was read out. It was not only signed, but every clause was read out by Honorable Yaya Tamba mm -hmm. in front of the media as well, yeah. because we are doing everything transparent. In, you know, mm -hmm. Everything has to be transparent. Mm -hmm. We don't have to blindfold people. Mm -hmm. We have to tell the people exactly what, what was happening. Mm -hmm. And in those um, um, clause, there was none that referred to President Jame. There was none. All the clause that, you know, contract clause that, you know, we had has nothing to do with President Jame or who is coming back. Mm -hmm. It was everything to do about how we're going to share government yeah. and, you know, our mode of operations. You understand? But these people, they told us that we are going to sign it until, you know, we, 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 we tear down the paper. What were you signing? And where is that MOU? It's nowhere to be found. You ask Amul Nyazi, he will tell you that he hasn't seen it. You ask Duruja, it's the same. You ask any one of them within that cabal, they said, no, they haven't seen an MOU. So how on earth can you just go, can you just follow somebody who doesn't even, uh, you, you don't. But, well, I tell you one thing, they knew exactly what they were doing. They embezzled the funds of APRC. <laughs> President Jame uh, gave them 3.5 million dollars for the National Assembly election of 2017. Because at that time, APRC um, National Assembly members were the incumbent. Because the UDP, well, it was the um, uh, biggest opposition party, but they never bothered themselves in contesting in the National Assembly. They just contest presidential. So they had one uh, NRP, which was um, the minority leader by yeah. Samba Jallo, yeah. if, I can, if my memory serves me right, and two other independent candidates. The rest were all APRC. So far back, I told Jame, I am saying this verbatim. Bumba guy and Combo mm. Combo Central. Combo Central, yes. Yeah. Combo yes. Central is um, Buba Ai, and Bumbai was Magasi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, I'm saying this verbatim from what President Jame told me that you know he gave them five, uh, 3.5 million because Fabakari told him that they were going to contest in all the 53 seats across the country. So at that time, um, before he left, to um, uh, your deposit as a National Assembly member was $50,000. So this is what Jame calculated and gave them 3.5 million to do that, because that's far, what Fabagri said. Yes, we are the incumbent, so we're going to win back again, all the seats. So Jame trusted him. Jame, ne Jame never have doubt in Fabagri. He trusted him. He respect him as an elderly man, as somebody who was who served in the party. Jame respect anybody who was in, within the party, let alone, you know, Gambia. But is there a possibility of you guys coming back together as a family? It's up to and them. And just, it's up know. to them. Jame did not, did not expel them from the party. Jame, you know, just but changed. But he ended up expelling them. No. He did not? No. Oh, okay. But no. he said he took over the party. Huh? He took just the taking over the, from taking them. Over the party. That's what he from said. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, their, their, their position. It's just their position. It's just the executive. The thing. You know, APRC, the reason why, you know, when we. Jame have that power. The reason why, um, you remember when we had Duruja here, <laughs> we were talking about the APRC Congress, their constitution mm -hmm. is this you elect only the party leader. Mm -hmm. no, and the party leader but, selects the rest of the executive. It's exactly what happened when That's why the president here. Right now, Far Bakari. Can, can sack all of those people if he wants, because he's the only elected one. So if Jame, who the, 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 the Congress elected as the supreme leader, in 2015. has the powers, yes. he could sack all of 283, them. 283,000 um, signatures for him to be the flag bearer. You see, Fatu, so but you cannot Fatu, be flag Fatu, bearer when he's outside but, the country. The ISC and some act is very clear on that. Let me just land, bro. You, you don't, but my am not going to have energy. Yes, sir. Bilahi, take your time. OK. You see, the constitution of APRC, yeah. it reflects the constitution of the Republic of the Gambia. Mm. Because we were in power at the mm. time. Okay. So there are some, uh, like, like President Barra, do we um, um, encounter any kind of elections for the, the, the ministers? No. No. <laughs> the, the president, you know, select his ministers. Then it's not, they, don't, they, don't go to, they, they, don't, they don't go into an election. So similarly, it's the APRC constitution as well. We only go Congress for the flag bearer. 
And once the flag bearer is, is nominated, you know, he will he pick... Selects he selects his election. But, he's but in line with the Elections Act, Jammeh mm -hmm. could not contest elections while he was outside. The flag bearer cannot be outside the country. But the, listen but to me. Change. It's, cha it's change. But it was change. It, that law uh -huh. you're talking about. But Maybe you're not privy no, to no, that. No, no, no. Can Jammeh change? Go, go to the election Act. Yes. It, it is, it is, this, this was not, nothing to do with APRC or Jammeh. Bakari Bunya Dabo. Challenge he fought, that. he challenged the Supreme Court. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that. Listen saying. to me. Okay, go ahead. For Bak okay, Bakari Bunya Dabo, he challenged the, 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 the IEC of at the Supreme Court to nullify that. They shiver it. They shiver that law. Now you can be anywhere and be in an executive committee or you can contest in an election or, or, or a referendum. When now this is, this is um, section 19. When was it changed? Well, th th this is what I'm saying. It was changed in 2021. <laughs> so it was changed in 2021. But and this, now, was, this, this, this was January 28th of uh, 2021. So that was even before the Congress of APRC, because uh, APRC Congress was in a February. APRC Constitution is against internal party democracy. Against? Against internal. How? But anyway, you are not even APRC. Because Where you are, APRC? are no, no, the legally recognized APRC. Listen, don't bring another topic here. Just we are the legal. No, listen, no, no. These are the, listen. Okay. Papers is legal. Okay. Legal is about okay. papers. Okay. Documentation. Okay. Let me clarify that. And the IEC. Listen, IEC, that, those, those are hypocrites. No, they, they clearly told us that. No. Uh, on what basis? No, 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 no. On what grounds? No. But they said those no. are the names that they have. On what grounds? The names. No. Yes, listen, yes, when, the, when yes, there was an impasse with PPP, IEC intervened. Yes. When there was an impasse with NCP, mm -hmm. IEC intervened mm -hmm. and brought peace. We wrote to them. I, Pamo Dumbo, I went to um, the IEC. From there, I went to IGP's office. That was the second leg. No, no, the first, the very, very first one. I went there, went to the, um, uh, the IGP, in, in Inspector General of Police, and also inter-party committee to deliver their letters for IEC to come and mediate between the two factions. Now, after two weeks, we, we never hear, we never heard from them. We send them email first before taking the letters. After two weeks, we send them back a, a reminder. Not by, by an, I went and took them myself again to all the three um, place, um, places that I just mentioned. So IEC decided to ignore all that because they know for a fact they are sleeping together. So somebody just sent me something uh, to say GDC in uh, 2016 got 89,768 uh -huh. and in 2021 they got 105,000. So that is more. That is more. That's, that's, even if it's that's one more. vote, it's okay. more. Okay. So Ezra, please. <laughs> you, you, okay, you, I, will, I will agree with that. Agree with that. Coffee, my own. We have coffee. Don't worry. You, don't worry. Even outside the show, we're going to have coffee. Effect. You know? So, so this, is, this, this is the whole situation. Yeah. They never wanted that mediation because they're sleeping together. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Sleeping together, we are not interested in that. We are interested in something decent because we are not going to go out there protest this that that. No, we are not going to do that. Mm. But we are going to control our people and going to contest us and independent candidates, mm. which we did in you know the national assembly, and you know it was very successful, mm. as far as we are concerned. And the, this local government election will prove the whole prove to the whole world, including IEC, that they are partial. They are not independent. Okay, but 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 the reason why I'm saying this is because. Like what the IEC will continuously say is that these, the names that they have, the mm -hmm. list that they have, legally registered with them, mm -hmm. is the Tambonjara group or camp. Mm -hmm. And the other camp led by Jame is not necessarily the one that they have. But, but Jame, but, we wrote to them. Jame wrote to them out. in his own handwriting. Mm -hmm. I took that one as well. But did you it's on the out? social media. It's on own, own handwriting? Handwriting? Own handwriting, Jame. Mm -hmm. And it notified the, the, the IEC, that, IEC that you know, I've changed. <laughs> you understand? Executive. This is the new executive. He wrote all of but, our names. Pablo, I think the reason why IEC, um, at some point, you will understand their position is this. Mm -hmm. Because when, I, when we interviewed the IEC chairman, what he said was, after your Congress, the names that they took at the IEC, mm -hmm. They did not put Jamie's name there, mm -hmm. even though. But they the don't Congress, say that on the in the Congress. Because even though I, my team was at the Congress. Mm -hmm. At the Congress, Jamie was elected as the Supreme Leader. Me, we live stream it from Buyam. Mm -hmm. My team That's was the there. criminal act. But at the IEC, the names that they were there mm -hmm. was not Jamie. But Samu Jang was there at the at the, at the Congress. Samu Jang was there at the Congress as a representative. It was not Jamie. It was, was Fabakar's name. Bane. So you so, know, if Fabakar's name is in IEC, if. Uh, Fabrica has problem with issues. They will say no. 
us for us the record is Fabakari. But fa Fatu, I think that's Fatu, what I Fatu, the whole world, the whole world knew that before the 2021 elections, UDP, you know, gasseted their, their Congress. They, they were, uh, the candidates that were shortlisted, including Honorable Usain Dabo, they were all identified, and it was in the social media. That's the right way to go about it. You have to inform the people, but you don't have to go um, in the Congress. You know, you proclaim Jame. Everybody says it's Jame is the party leader, Supreme Party. Da da da. da the crocodile tears start flying out and stuff. Then on the hind side, you 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 have a different list. That's criminal. In fact, I should not do not accept that because Samujang was there at the, at the Congress. Jame was the Supreme Leader. Can, can, can Samujang was there. Can, 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 was the forget about the media houses. Can, 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 so IEC had, had, had a representative who in the name of Sam, Samujang. So why did Samujang... Are you people willing to take a legal action against... No, him? we are not going to do that. We leave that to the people. People, you, you the, people. They said they have the people. Fa, why can they have the documents? That's no, what fact, they said. Fact, <laughs> that's what they said. <laughs> Trust me. Uh -huh. We are not going to court. We are not. We need that money anyway. You have your own media here. Hi. You said representative we did. somewhere else. What are the importance of those that are sending a representative? To give us facts. Good. Feedback. Thank and you. After the, after the Congress, the IEC did not find out what had happened. No. You understand? No. And we all knew categorically clear that the IEC in 2017, the chairman himself, made some comments. Nasty comments mm. for that matter. That he's he said, happy that Jame is gone. Jame is gone. Independent. The chairman of the independent. Yes. Oh, come on. I'm just asking where is that? Where is that? He is not independent. No, no. He has been parcel from the. But he wanted, Jamie wanted to assassinate him. Really? According to him. Really? According to him. Okay. Yeah, my friend, you rely on those allegations. We all heard what the then chairman said, Kereo. What he said about the recent chairman of the Independent Electoral Commission. Have you heard it? Yes. Don't. Yes. This tells you that the man is not. Chairman was Jammes, Jammes chairman as well. Karayol was Jammes chairman. chairman. The chairman. Karayol well, was Jammes chairman as well. Ah. Doing his bidding now. for him. Yeah, uh, bidding? Me. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't he. Um, Ali Mohamed did that? Karayol was in happy that Jammes was gone. That's why he was making those comments. Yeah, but because he knew know, that he was removed by Jammes. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. He was also not happy that Jammes <laughs> was removed <laughs> because he was gone. Why well, he was removed uh -huh. by Jammes? Who? Jammes. Yeah, Jan. Yeah. Of course, I was very happy. This is why you are cool. eating the More than okay. happy. Go ahead. That's all right. Go ahead right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Finally. Don't make me so yes. Finally. <laughs> we are going into elections. Uh -huh. With your respect. You guys uh -huh. are going into the nominations, uh -huh. right? What do we expect? And going forward after this, mm -hmm. you know, because the truth is, when you go to IEC, you register as independent. Yes. Because, you know, legally, you cannot register as APRC. Yes. You will be disqualified and mm -hmm. you want to contest. Yeah. Are we looking at a scenario where there are rumors that you guys are going to register a party? Is that true? Let me just ask that. No. We have no intention of doing but that. But we cannot anyway. leave APRC like that and go into another party. But you said you are not going to court. You are not registered. And so you just, no, what no, are you going Don't to worry about it. it. That, that, that will come. Yes. Because already what is in the kitchen, you, see, you know, trying to cook it, supporters, you know, it will come in the open. Them, yeah. The few supporters that supported them are coming back. <laughs> now that we are only waiting for handful. a period of time, mm. when they will only be left with their hands. Fabakar is exempted from politics because he is the speaker of the National Assembly. Right. So, yes, so is Rambo. But he is in the, he's doing politics. He's doing politics. But, but, but is, is that part of his TOR? What is that? As the as the as, as the speaker of the National Assembly, <laughs> you are not supposed to. You are not supposed to be affiliated. Yeah. All the ambassadors, they are not. Rambo is still into politics. Thank you. He's sending you, he's sending you guys audios every single day. I'm sure right now he's commenting. But civil servants, we are doing politics on the Jammeh as well. No, no, no. Well, yes, of course they can if they want to. Civil servants, if they can, if if they if they want. No, not openly. They should not. Well, so now they are doing that on the Jammeh. They are doing it right now. But they are doing it. They are doing it right now. Yeah, they do it all the time. No, of course, they're yeah. doing it right now. So it's not only Jame. Yeah. So now, Brother, whatever is it that you know they accuse Jame of, is happening right now. Bad, bad. No, bad, they accuse him. Listen, the the uh, Paraba, you accuse Jame. We accuse Jame of the uh, April 10 and 11. It's the same thing that happens to Faraba. We uh, they accuse Jame of um, solo Sunday. It's the same thing that happens to Harun Ajata. 
Follows and there was evidence. But Aruna Jaka is, is Aruna Jaka not an evidence? No, that's not an accusation. Is Aruna Jaka pure guns, gun fire, gun shot? The next case went to court. Oh, and people oh. were convicted. Oh, oh, listen to me, man. And listen. Now that it so, is their own right to take Aruna's case to court. Of course, Aruna's case will be taken to court. Would you advise them to do that? I, no. Of course. No. I no, 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 no. You will not do that. He did that. He did that. Where did you do that? No, he did that. I don't need to tell you. No, you need to tell me because I don't know you. No, he did that. Okay, ask him. I don't know you. No, I don't know what you do. No, I, I don't know. What I'm so asking, you need to tell me. Did he make follow-ups as to whether it is... Uh, they, they well, no, he, that is not his role. His role no, no, is to advocate for no, it. No, I don't know. I, he did. Yeah, I don't know. Ask Alma Mejiba. I will. I've shared platform with Alma Mejiba. Okay. Where we've talked about but this is the first time. We have talked about the plight of the people. His role to advocate for it. Brother. He doesn't have those powers. His role is to advocate. How far have you gone with that? Yeah. How, far, how far have you gone no, with that? No, no, no. I talk S about this. S oh, you just talk about it? I talk about but you never did, no, did nothing. What do you mean by nothing? How, what you have you done apart from talking about it? And I did not hear from you. Because but you I, can be talking I, all day long. If you don't do something about it, nothing it, it will happen. But what okay. is stopping you from doing something about it? What? What is stop? You heard me, right? Well, obviously, I, 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 well, we did something about what it. What have you done? We'll, 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 we'll send a police petition. So you think I can send a petition to Well, of course. You see, everybody has your role. What's your role? My By just talking, I've been talking since God knows when. <laughs> Have you been the on air? <laughs> I'm not a journalist. That's what you do. Oh, see, see, see the, so, see the excuses. I mean, now, look, 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 look at the excuses. <laughs> so now, can you guys? My question. Back to my question. Yes. Back to my question. Nominations. You guys are not registering a party. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have the documents to the real APRC. Mm -hmm. um, you continue um, independent. Contesting on an independent ticket. Independent. For how long? Well, um, how long? It's is gonna, that, what is the plan? No, the, the, those plans cannot be executed here, Fatu. Okay. Because obviously, um, there is are certain... Is this a plot or what? Well, it can be whatever <laughs> you may call it. But what I'm saying is, you cannot just, you know, expose anything, any and everything that you know you are planning to do. Okay. If at all it would, the plan was done, then you ask me the question, I will answer it. Okay. You understand? But because of it's in the making, it's on the burner, uh, we can't talk about it right now. Okay. You understand? And please respect that for us. Because uh, I don't think there's anybody... Yeah, I mean, I understand. Any, anybody, anybody will do, will do that. Yeah. Ex expose their tactic, like going to war and informing your enemies that, yeah, okay, okay I'm going to come this plan. way. Or, yeah, this is my plan. Okay. You, don't, you don't do that. No, you don't. So obviously, you conceal your plans until you are on the battlefield. Then you execute that. Don't be in, um, people, Gambians, please don't be in a haste. Okay. We are going to do the right thing. We are, we are going <coughs> to satisfy you like we did during the, our 22 years reign. Because this, um, we're coming for the second half of the revolution. The revolution? Second really? half of it. You know, there, there is a break in anything. Second half, second part. The second half of the, of course, because okay. we are on a break. Jame worked for 22 years without a break, so okay. he needs a break, and we are having a break and too. And you're coming back. Of course. I mean, oh, when APRC did this, you know, Fabakari said, we are going to be part of the next government, and they are part of the government. Fabakari, what he should have said at that time was, uh, we are going to win, because Fabakari, what we were expecting as you APRC. No, 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 why Baralma? Fabakari could have been a candidate, a contesting candidate in 2021. You we were ready for it. They didn't, you didn't have money, they said. No, 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 no. That's not what they said. That's what they said. Not that's what they said. But, okay, that was just a, um, an excuse, a flimsy excuse. Because right now, we did not have money, but we are winning. We did not inherit even a bank account from them. Car, whatever, yeah, nothing. Yeah, we are doing that. We are raising yeah. funds. We, and funds were raised. Lamin Tamba alone raised 1.5 million. Lamin Tamba alone. That's my friend. You understand what I'm saying? He I'm gave them 58,000 on, on his own without raising funds. So funds were coming left, right, and center. They are, you know, philanthropists. Honestly, up till today, Fabakari will just send somebody to them, oh, we want to take charity for this, that, and the other. They will give them 50,000, 40,000. I know people. I can say their names if I have to. No, you understand? So it was just a flimsy excuses because he made the promise from 2017, so he have to keep it. So now Whatever we come, come up with, he will just brush it on the carpet or under the carpet and say, oh, then let's move more. We don't have money. We need 15 million to contest. Of course, 15 million? So now you've said you are on a break. Well, well, from the government, of, of course, yeah. Barrow is there. Yeah, so you guys are coming back? Inshallah, Dala. How soon? That, well, well, you, you just watch this face. Watch this face. <laughs> Finally, out of the 42, you want to come in? Yeah, yeah, let, me, the, okay. let, me, let me just use that opportunity to, 
to apologize to them for saying no, <laughs> that no, no they problem. got because um, 2016, like you ah, said, oh, yeah. on records 89 to 105. Mm. I will send that apology also to the GDC. And that's an the but, effect. The <laughs> yeah, effect. But but what I cannot also understand <laughs> if they increase from 89 to 105, yeah. looking at the percentage as well. They had up to, I think, 17% or so in the presidential in 2021 and 2016. And now it was less than that because the remaining 20% were shared between them. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, so really they've, they've done well there. But when it comes to the parliamentary election 2022, mm -hmm. we all saw it. GDC could not even pull out a single seat. Then you can and, and give you credit not, to APRC then. Give, yeah, because, give you credit to because you did not back Because you did not back them. Thank you. No APRC, no to Alliance. I don't want to call you APRC. I okay. call you no to Alliance. That's your choice. That's, That's your choice. Official. Come on, no problem. No problem. Yes, <laughs> call us when you say <laughs> For, for calling our leader a brutal victim. No, I don't apologize for that. No, I don't apologize for that. That's that's my opinion. No, it's inaccurate. That's my it's inaccurate in your in your own words. No, don't worry. Okay, let me let me just say that. Yeah, because, because here and next time because I will Fabu, say no, no, the reason why is because they and then they, they, they No, they, but they, you know we treat you very well. No, here. but what he said is he should apologize. He said that's his opinion. So you so also the reason why I apologize is that I I should call you in the other way around. No. I'll go scot free. I will defend. No, you can myself. call her a brutal dictator if you want. That's your opinion. How can he defend himself? You are defending him. You are you are doing it that very well. This right. is why. This is why I don't want to do it to you in the other way around. This is why I requested his apology. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so just to say, the reason why. I, yes, sir. Apologize. The reason. Okay, let me come there. The reason why I'm doing this is because of my background. We are from academia, and when we say things, we are on record. Sometimes yeah. we also have to clarify that. So that was a good performance from 89 to 105. Yeah. But apart from that, I mean, I think um, the No Alliance um, camp, um, I've said like um, on records again, um, it really it's a, it will be a very good political force if you're able to put your house in order. What I mean by putting your house in order is that you need structures in place. You need to institutionalize this group to make it a political force, a political party. Whether you, I mean, of course, by registering or whatever. I mean, because you have the, if you go to parliament, you have the numbers, even though I agree that you are a phony party, because that's where you're able to win. We are not able to see it yet, unless... Esa, I will say on camera that you are very disrespectful. Unless... In un your face, you are very disrespectful. What do you mean by that? Esa. I said it. Esa. Why? why? It's my I, view. Esa. Why am I disrespectful? It's my view. Esa. It's why? my opinion. Why? It's my opinion. The answer why? It's my opinion. Because by the way, you, phone, by the way you are no. deliberating no. things, no, you no, are no, so no. disrespectful, but, but, Esa. I, I'm very sorry if I... Oh, if thank you, you very much. Of course. You have to apologize. Otherwise, I walk out of the show. No, no. Okay, sorry. We've said here that MPP is a Bolongkona party. That's just a... Who said it? That's just a joke. I'm not saying you said it okay, here. Okay, we, we, we don't, we don't, don't come on, listen. Tell it to them. You have the, Esa, yeah. don't do that. Don't no, go there. Don't do it. Yes, thank yes, you. Yes, thank thank yes, you yes, very yes, much I, for apologizing. I, mean, I, don't take, I didn't take that serious. Thank you. If you take it serious, I'm, yeah. I Thank you. I take it serious. I, I take it very often. I very apologize for that. Okay, cool. We're waiting to see. We're waiting to see. Your performance. Your performance in the local government elections. Inshallah. Out of the 42, what are we? what number are we looking at out of 42? Are you think you'll get uh, at least half of that number? Um, I will, will, will uh, honestly. 14, like your time. Uh, honestly. Who is your candidate in KM? <laughs> Mayor? Who no, are you? No, no. It, it, it will come. Maybe he's the very one. It will come in time. I'm not in KM. It will come in time. Don't worry. <laughs> and I think your candidate in West Coast is a lady. Oh, no, no. No, the, the we haven't people. got. Uh, we are, we, no, we are no, not publishing our. It's uh, not yet. Okay, yeah. candidate. We are publishing the, 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 the local government yeah, ones. Are, the, the, how the many candidates councilors. are you putting in KM in local government? KM, I think we have about four, 90, all, well, all of them. I think it's about 17 or something. In KM? KM, yes. So do you have any, okay, wow. yeah, I think you have one in Kalinin South. Uh -huh. I think somebody is coming all in Kalinin South. All this one, South. you know, you name it. Kundung, yes. My area. They're, they're here on, the, on my phone. They're all here in my phone. We are, wow. coming, we are not coming to sleep. <laughs> no, listen, guys, and guys, please, the just, oh, come on. We want come to liberate on. the country. We did that before. From what? We did it before. We are liberated as we speak. We want to liberate the country from slumber. The country is in slumber. Finally, before we go, what is your assessment of the borough government? Finally. The assessment normal. Uh, do you want me to read it from uh, percentage wise? And you, your, your own. Okay, if I have to do the percentage size, on my own opinion, I give a um, three out of five, three from ten. Three out of ten. Three? Why? Why? Because uh, we are not in control of anything right now, substantial in Gambia. We are foreigners in our own country. And I can go on. If you have time, I can go on. on, on, on. There's no about that. Anyway. We are not in control of nothing. Our electricity, you see, is going on and off right now. We just had a breakdown. 
uh, a, a, a break um, to uh, lights going off, it's we contracted Senelec for, for five years to supply the the, the border villages. Rural, yeah, yeah? Rural but in, in, in the process, we are supplying them water because their water is not good. It's not a drinkable water. We're supplying them water, and we don't know that because they, they will not disclose that. You know, they, 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 they are at our state house. Even in Darfur, the Darfur military, they are at their state house. Darfur, where all the um, con uh, ECOWAS, economic, uh, co ECOWAS uh, contingent, they are going there on a peaceful, um, a peacekeeping mission. But in Gambia, the Senegalese, they are in our state house. The last person you, 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 you pass to go to President Baro is a Senegalese. So our secret, Gambia, everything, you know, the state house will be the number, the, the, the number one. And if the state house is compromised, the whole country is compromised. Now, I, I, I don't mind, you know, anybody's argument, you just ask me. So I'm you said three by ten, three, three out of three ten. Over ten. I, and I was really, really very generous. Really generous. You're really I was generous. really very generous. Maybe you yeah. want to change it to two. <laughs> Maybe just, one. I'm just helping to put it at a modest level. Because uh, for me, I was even thinking below that one. But it's OK. I mean, as much as far more said so. But in fact, one thing I want to make mention here. Mm -hmm. I will appeal to you, send your media team to the Riverside. Go and see how Senegalese are rooting out. Oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. There was a day when I was at Sibano checkpoint. It's about 15 free go vehicles loaded with fish to Senegal. When Gambians are struggling to get fish for their daily consumption, it's hard. And when Senegalese are depriving us from getting even firewood or charcoal from their own territory, burning our cars, coming into our own trucks. land, arresting Gambians, taking them away, where is the hot pursuit? The hot pursuit is in one side. That Senegalese will come here and do whatever they want to do, they are arrested, taken to Senegal. Gambians do things in Senegal. If they come here, Senegal will come directly, not even consulting our own security personnel. They will come in and get them arrested, take them to Senegal. Very wrong. Tie them out, very wrong. brutal on them. Very wrong. It's indeed Sometimes sad. Sometimes we shot them. It's sad. Send your men to the ground so that they will do more findings. You will be shot seeing those free go vehicles to Senegal. Go to our markets. Everything is... From Senegal. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Interesting. Interesting. That's why yeah. price is hiking yeah. every day. You know, yes, price hike. I don't have any assessment for Barrow's government. No, you I think don't. I've said this several times. Really? Really? Barrow's government, I mean, what am I going to do? Why should I assess them? I mean, well, you assess orders before. I don't think Barrow is even up to 3 over 10. What a boom was the Barrow I don't think I don't think he's even up to 3 over 10. Oh, my God. Thank okay. you very okay. much, Barrow. This was welcome. an interesting oh, and fat. lively conversation. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are enjoying Fatu, it. I have to wish you happy birthday. Day, a belated happy birthday yes. as well because you know I didn't have your number at the time yeah. so I only did it on Facebook yeah. but now in person thank you. my thank sister you so from Slough thank you that's my brother from Slough thank you so thank much, you very much. Much. thank you uh, <laughs> thank you Ansu and we really appreciate you guys my coming we'll have a Prof, prof, prof Ansu. Ansu. I see everybody calling you Prof, Prof, Prof. Why have you been seeing it? On Facebook, yesterday, when I was looking for your picture. Because when you gave me your name, I said, where's your picture? I, like, and then I went there and I saw Lamin Jame, Prof. And then when the flyer came out, I saw everyone, APS, yeah. everyone sharing yeah. it. He our, is our, dynamic. They said, our lions are going oh, to yeah. grow on people. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That's what Lamin Jame La Lamin Tama, yeah. My friend Lamin Tama, he's my brother. He's oh, brother. no, he's dynamic. He's an amazing oh, guy. So he Tama. is and absolutely amazing. I you from UDP to... So, so we are not UDP. Why do you think we are UDP? Uh, come on, come no, on. But why do you put think I'm UDP? No, let's have you, this conversation. You are, you no. are. How? You why? Are. No, say it. Why? How? Which party do you support? No, seriously. Generally, let's say which party do you support? No, no, no. I don't know. Me, I don't, I don't know. The first what person I ever voted is Yaya Jami. Uh -huh. Yeah. And now, I'm sure you even saw people I, circulating my yeah, yeah, pictures yeah. that I vote. I, yeah. I, you know, you saw that. Mm -hmm. Because when I was growing up, I, I graduated in 99. Mm -hmm. That time, don't jame, jame, jame. Mm -hmm. And I went straight into GRTS. Mm -hmm. So I voted for yeah. Jame the first year. Mm -hmm. And I never voted again okay. until 2021. Right. And I did not vote for... Uh, in 2021? 
Oh, no, but, I'm not, but, I don't have to disclose that no. because now I'm a journalist. Yeah, yeah. But I That's voted right, for yeah. somebody that I liked. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not, if I want to be UDP, I can. That's Where, okay. Why do you think I'm UDP? Where, wherever you might I think be. people should stop calling us UDP because now, if there's anybody they should call any party, it's QTV. Yeah. NPP have a candidate. I, I will say that on your, I will say that on your and network. No, 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 Fatu, any uh, Fatu, I, I will and really, I will genuinely support that. I will genuinely support that. has not produced any candidate for any party. He sat down all his staff. Let me finish. Is this Kirfat who has not produced any candidate for any party, mm -hmm. and we will never do that mm -hmm. because we are a media house. Mm -hmm. But we have seen media house uh, can, a, a candidate coming from a media house, mm -hmm. and nobody is labeling them. Mm -hmm. So, if anybody and label and us, that is so unfair. No, no, I, I will genuinely end up that. Fatu. Yes, QTV, yeah. NPP, yeah. the regional the BKC candidate yeah. is from QTV. Yeah. Mohammed just said it. Yes. He said it to his staff, the entire staff. Yes. How did you miss that? How did you miss that? So, so <laughs> if anybody call us, no, no, no. What I mean is, the no, no. The, don't call us. Fatu, I swear to God, I will, I will, I will, I will support you on that. You don't, you don't, you don't say nothing against the government at QTV. You don't, you don't. I mean, here you can come here and see. Need to find your own lane. Yeah. Didn't call Obaro. Didn't call Usain Dabo. Didn't call Adam Obaro. Didn't call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We give platform to everybody. Yes. Yes. We give, we, this man is always on Kirfat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Everybody comes here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they call us UDP. We are not UDP. But no, we maybe, come maybe he thought. No, 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 <laughs> Maneuvering over the political over the situation, I cannot believe it. That's your opinion. See, the thing is, opinions are opinions. Opinion. I, 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 when I said when I said something, you said I should not say that. Opinions and facts. That was my opinion too. Opinion and facts are different. Opinions and facts are different. Allow anybody to be harsh on our leader. Yeah. He is the only leader that we have. So respect him, no matter what. Yeah. You might differ when it comes to politics, but give him. I mean, I mean, I think you know one thing I always say is everybody should, everybody belongs somewhere, and I think that is important for us to tolerate each other, tolerance. to understand and be tolerant. Tolerance. But also Thank when you. it comes to facts, like when 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 Esa said this is a fact. Last time we we had somebody and you said facts and opinions. Facts and opinions matter, and mm -hmm. it's important that people understand that people can be. Uh, today, if somebody say you are UDP, I said no, I'm not UDP because I'm, you haven't seen me a candidate. But today, I can say QTV is maybe NPP mm -hmm. because they produce a candidate that is from NPP. Yeah. Yeah. That is fact. Yeah. That that's is not opinion. That's a fact. What you are saying, that's opinion. But and, this one is and, fact. And it's a fact as well fact that, that, that the, the, the proprietor told the staff. He sat them down. Ah, and where, said, where is the evidence? I no, uh, this, this is from this is from uh, you know, the, the, even the leader <laughs> of that. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> you want me to say it? On, 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 uh, you know me. I'm bold enough to say it. Uh, well, I, I will not do that. Don't tell us. Don't tell us. Thank you. you. Thank you. We will meet on the race. And so, you and who? Uh, uh, that NPP. Yes, sir. You have a candidate. I don't say there? nothing that I don't. I'm not sure about. Honestly, I don't. I don't point fingers or whatever. Lamin jata wa halal prof mumo oyati mumo mumo duga. Okay, prof, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. that is my yeah. No, we are friends. But on, thank you so much. We it's a pleasure. Esa, it's a pleasure. Uh, prof, it's a pleasure. Um, Esa, thank you for sharing platform for the first time. I'm sure we're going to have another one. No, I want to actually coming. invite you for a coffee. You know, outside the camera so that you know we can just <laughs> put it on the table. Man to man. Eh? Yeah. That was That's right. That was but my sister, that was interesting. you know, boom the gauge. Yeah, Anytime you need us. Definitely. On the Definitely. phone. We'll be here. Oh. And bring your candidates. We Don't need worry. to talk to these candidates. Okay. And look at them and okay. see, you know, the, you know. Okay. The well, well, the nomination is on. Once yeah. you know they they, they pass the nomination, nomination stage, then the, we'll that, that will be the time to, you know, come to the TV and you know, okay. give you guys. And next time I want Jerendi. 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 That will be exciting. Jerendi. That's my boy. Jerendi. That's my boy. Jerendi. That's my boy. Jerendi. Jerendi. You know we're from the same place. I man. love him. I love yeah, him. Yeah, he's he's. I, as, yeah. as a matter of fact, we are yeah. we, APRC Baby Limansa. We love each other. Yeah. It's like you know we are from the same mother and father. As a matter of fact, there are people, siblings who are from the same parents that they don't like. They, they, they don't like each other like we do. Yeah. Trust me. The time I spend, or uh, uh, when we are together, it's just fun. Yeah. Because it's just we, we, we share the same love. Yeah. We share the same party. We, we were doing the same. You know, we have the same objective. So we do things as a family. That's why you know. People are even worried, you know, where we get our monies from. We come out and do it. And donate to each other. Even, come on, listen. Yeah. Friday, Friday, we are going to um, Sutisinyan. Our youths are saying, listen, you guys have been doing it, now watch. Us, we are coming out there to do our fundraising. So, 
I invite you and all your team. That's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. And, we, and we saw your celebrations in, you know, you know the national Yeah. You guys are doing amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so really much for coming and Thank hope you. to see you very soon. Thank you. Inshallah. 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 And next week, Inshallah, I think by this time next uh -huh. week, we'll be talking about breaking our fast here. But Inshallah. I think Inshallah. next week Ramadan will start. Inshallah. 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 Hopefully. Yeah, let's say 20 Good night to you all. See you next Thank week. You. Thank you very bye much. Bye-bye. Thank you, Fatou. Yirwa men kafatan na tarambulo luto nga GIA Kago Complex Parendile pour que Julaya sone yandi kadungonim funti bunda na doko sembentu ya Banjul International Airport oto men si nyafa si moluma mel ka fengolu ki bantala bankolu kang anin julandingo lu fana foy si sulan na kago doko la bank katu masingolu bem bulule e ka fome ye forklifts mel ka selendiro ni jindiro ke baka solula mel be funti kang waranto kadunnan na waya house lu kono nga dinkira sumaya ringo lu fana sotole e fula mel la fano mu meter kemeleti karo bela adun e si kago baka solu tano Mensita for ton town war. Ila sumaya fana futata tembeleto. Menka fendolu mabono fo ikana atinya. Fo sene fengolu lombang. Domori fengolu. Waranto jata kendea ni mbori ma fengolu. Kago bagasolu la taradula kendo. Asulata jama ni labang korosiri langolu lela. Na double view x-ray korosiri la masingolu. Aka kago bagaso kono kono jubele. Komi kago doko sartolu ya landi nyameng. Nyin double view x-ray. Amu jama ni labang rapid scan leti. Menka karafula korosiro keno kago sifa bela. Wati kilungo kono to. Na doku lalu imu ayata karandingo leti. Mili la doku wa no ifara mansata kago doku wa na tamandiri nyato na doku wa la bete ya Wey mfutan di RA3 makamoleto mensa atina fo nse kago bagaso lu kinole kata UK aning EU banko lu kang GIA ka hakili tenkungo dila na doku wa to ite nyina la menu Every day is a new opportunity to make sure our first impressions are always our best and to see possibilities on the horizon. To make our facilities and services more accessible and find freedom all around us. With a location proximity to active markets with a liberal air transportation policy. That daily pursuit is how we turn everyday opportunities for you. For all destination marketing support, customized packages for new existing airlines and operators, and for a highly ranked tourist destination, the Gambia Civil Aviation Authority is here to serve. We regulate air transport, operate and manage BIA technical requirements, merge with commercial considerations. We have experienced and well-trained aviation professionals to cater for your needs. For investment opportunities in building airport hotels, shopping malls, playground for children, do contact us on 4472-831-4472-893. Gambia Civil Aviation Authority. We go beyond daily.